Gah. Hello? Kitty 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 People don't Wait, say that what? anymore. People don't say that anymore. People don't say that anymore. I was fooled. I was fooled. What was that? One of my Japanese friends was like, oh yeah, haha. In Japanese, we say opekepe. And then later she was like, nah, I was just fucking with you. No one says that anymore. <laughs> so I, I guess I guess I got tricked. Never heard that before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of other people haven't heard of that before. Hi, guys. Are you purposefully still on the loading screen? No. Oh, yes. Well, yeah, I was, but now, now we're not. Now we're all good to go. Now we're ready to party. Oh. Now we are ready. To party. Hi. Oh. Hey, I guys. think, I think one layer in OBS is uh, oh, behind shit. me. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! You, you're, you've gotten, you're rending yourself. Oh man. Here. It's transparent, okay. see through. Yes, it sure is. Here, let me change the bounds of space and time. There we go. Hold on. Yo, so many cups, all for me! <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. And ma tiny out. ass macarons, those are tiny! They're pretty small. They're, they're, <laughs> they're definitely so on cute. the small side. <laughs> yeah, but definitely very tasty. They're so cute. Yeah. How is the, what a uh, cozy volume? room. Oh my yeah, god. It's pretty cozy, I would say. How is the, uh, how's the volume, everyone? Is it alright? Kikiriki? Kiara, a bit loud. Really? Volume good, I volume down, good, I audio down good. Kiara, like 50%. What? 50%? Yeah, sorry. Well, half, only half a Kiara. Wow, okay. Hey, okay, listen, <laughs> listen, it's not like that. Half of my possible, uh, 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 no worries. I mean, do doesn't it's not something that your character has in, in common. I mean, I wouldn't say that. I mean, yes. I completely understand what you say all the time, but thank you. But uh, maybe I don't know. It will become a fun character thing as well. Oh yeah, I was gonna say potentially. Yeah. My half of my potential. Yeah, yeah. No, my character does have a little bit. Like she is trilingual, but does have a little bit of uh, communication. Problem. I would, um, no, not mul not trilingual. Multilingual is the skill uh, that Merit I gave her. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I think uh, Ina also gave herself that one. Mm -hmm. it's still, I'm still quiet. It, it's look, it looked like I was peeking a bit, but if you guys say so, I'll up the volume a bit. Hello, hello. Check one, two. Hey, hey. How's this? Let me know, guys, and we can go ahead and get started. Heckity howdy ho. Yee. Already in character. I see you'd be correct. Let's see. No, better, better now. This is good. <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna start learning, uh, Kiara. That it's you're gonna come to a point where you're like, um, what is in character and what is not in character. You shall see. And speaking of which, how about we go ahead and show? I'm gonna go ahead and show your character sheet to everyone. Oui, That's very large. Oui, okay. All right. I I added uh, one flaw and one merit since last time you guys saw this sheet. Mm. I added uh, curiosity with two flaw points. Therefore, I added loaded for bear with two flaw points. Yata! Nice, nice, nice. Wait, wait, no, wait! I have it. I have it already. Oopsie! Oh my god. Oh, oopsies. <laughs> Shit. Oh, um, I didn't realize I already have that one. Oh, I guess so. Gosh, I didn't. You know what? Either. I'm just gonna add an, another one sure. point merit instead of that. Uh, sure, go yeah. ahead. We got some time. Yeah. Go ahead yeah. And do, do you that. have to do some? Do you have to do some explaining or something? Sure. I mean, I can basically explain how it's going to work to everyone. So basically, um, for this stream, we're just going to be introducing Kiara's character, Tiara, into the world of darkness. And basically, it's like a prologue, a little prologue story for her. Um, and we will be kind of role-playing it out and learning how to roll dice. Um, and going through all of that, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say painstakingly slowly, but we are going to try and learn from experience, you guys. Um, I got one! I got one! All right, what's the merit? Direction sense. I'm gonna quickly edit that and then I'll send you the updated version. Alrighty, sounds good. 
And I just reactions. have that for my reference. Do you just have all of the merits and shit in your brain all the time? No, I pretty much have to look them up in the side, but um, I also kind of... It would be great if, if you guys learned the merits as well, and I will also learn all of your yeah. individual merits. So it, it saves I us some time. With time, we will mm -hmm. all know our own merits right. by heart. Exactly. Yes, and a uh, little known fact, you can earn experience in this game. Experience points, EXP. Ooh, okay. We'll go over that at the end, um, once you have played through the tutorial. Another thing to note um, is that... Um, Guys, uh, I'm not a huge stickler for the rules, um, but basically, essentially, I may change some things um, from the traditional world of darkness so that things are a little easier to understand, um, especially for like the combat system. Um, I don't do anything too in-depth and integrated. I like for it to be a basic combat system with a lot of roleplay. Um, so yeah, I think uh, the golden rule here is that there are no rules, um, but there there kind of are. There's enough. There are enough rules to keep the game within a certain bound, but not enough to detract from the fun um, or make things so painstakingly detailed that they stop being fun. That that's when it's the worst. Is when is when we're like, wait, how does this combat thing work? And the GM is trying to explain the very, I guess, in depth way that the the combat system is and everyone's just like huh what ah. so um yeah we don't want that <laughs> so um if if i do something that's a little different from the traditional world of darkness sense please understand um that that's just how we're gonna roll and i will explain i will explain how uh it's how it's going to be changed etc um yeah I, I also saw kiara shrunk for a second she's fine now though okay <laughs> as long as you're okay now my dude <laughs> ah, that was me. I sent you the update of Yes, me. thank you very much. I will be using this for my reference. Awesome. Mm -hmm. um, now, before we get started, I do think it's best to learn by experience, but I do want to kind of talk a little bit about rolling. Um, so, due to various uh, circumstances um, beyond our control, for now, all of the tutorials will be rolled by your boy, um, but I will teach you the commands so that you know them. Um, and in the future, everyone will have access to being able to do this. But for now, okay. I need Kiara to be my math wizard. <laughs> can you do that for me, Kuzatori? <laughs> of course! <laughs> you can be my math wizard? Excellent. It's amazing! I'm gonna be... Uh, oh, I'm all kinds of wizards, Kelly. <laughs> fantastic, fantastic. Yeah. All right, well... Uh, so, one, one, two, three, four, five. At least I know how to count to five. It's okay if you have to use your fingers. I have to use my fingers, too. <laughs> Fine. I, I, have, I have the calculator open. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Now, let's try and, and just do your first roll, okay? So, <laughs> in this game, a roll you're going to be doing very often is a perception check, okay? Okay. So like when looking I, around, right? Exactly. When I say uh, roll a perception check, um, or you're like, what's in my surroundings? I can say, well, roll perception. And your perception is going to be your wits plus your composure. Okay. Wits is one, composure is two. So I roll three dice? Exactly. And well, this is going to be... Understanding maximum big brain, galaxy brain. Okay. Huge brain. So you'll mm -hmm. type dash... Caps. Roll. It's yeah. slash roll. And you said three. Oh, yeah. Three. D10. It means that you're going to be rolling three D10 dice. Okay? Okay. So here we go. Three D10. I've rolled the dice, and what I'll do is click on this little drop down, and here are the dice that you rolled. Wow. 25. Two nines and seven. Yeah, the 25 isn't exactly important oh, right now. Oh, that's, what, that's the that's dice are what's good. important. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, that's two successes. However, it depends on the difficulty of the task. So let me explain something um, that's going to be kind of central to how I'm running this game. Essentially, <clears throat> when I played this game, difficulty was not a thing. Um, eight, nine, and 10 were successes, and that's all that there was to it. Um, <clears throat> however, the more research that I did, the more that I realized, hey, some people set difficulty for things. So for example, Kiara, give me an example of a really easy task that anyone can do. Walking up the stair. 
walking up the stairs, all right? That should be decently easy, but some people will probably have trouble with it. Yeah, um, maybe. <laughs> all right, so... <laughs> okay. So let's go ahead and okay. say... Mm, I can do another one. Okay. Uh, picking up a stone. Picking up a stone. All right, sounds good. Um, I think that should be fairly doable. So we'll go ahead and set the difficulty at four, okay? Oh. Pretty low because it's a pretty simple task to do. Now to pick up that stone, Kiara, I'm going to have you roll your strength and athletics. Okay, at strength, three, athletics, two. So five. Five dices, please. Five? Okay. Let's do a roll. Five, D10. And here's what we got. Now, the result is, oh no, you got a one. But you also got a 10. Because you got because you got a 10, that's actually a re-roll. And also, we set the difficulty at four, correct? Yeah. So four is a success, okay? Wait, do all of the dice, each dice has to be a success? Yeah, so all of, you just need, in order to succeed, you just need one success. Just only one success. Ah, in order to moderately okay. succeed. Like, you can kind of do it, it's not perfect, but you at least kind of did it. All right, and then we're gonna re-roll the 10. I did get a 10, so I can re-roll, okay. Exactly. So, here we go, but you only got a two. So, in total, you got two successes and <laughs> one, one failure. This one right here. Wow. Now, some GM, <laughs> some GM would say, that this one cancels out one of your successes, but I don't. I don't do it that way, especially okay. not in the beginning. <laughs> um, the only okay. time that you will fail is when you get no successes, and it will be um, a pretty significant failure if you get no successes and a one. But because you succeeded in the first place with getting a four and a ten, um, I'm going to go ahead and say that you got two successes, which is you decently succeeded at it. Good job. Yata. Yay. Now let's say. I picked um, up the stone, and now I'm gonna throw it at you, Kelly. No, that, no, that I would say hey. is a bit higher difficulty because I suck at throwing. Yeah, and I'm oh, also real quick. say I'm good at throwing. <laughs> well, your boy's <laughs> real quick, so way. good luck. Hey, what? <laughs> no, 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 in a way of I, I throw games and I suck at games. <laughs> oh, I don't think you're that bad at, at games, Kusatori. I think you're pretty good. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, whatever. What, uh, yeah, yeah. No, no, no problem. Got your bag. Anyway, think of a really difficult task, Satori. A, a difficult task. Like, that's um, difficult for most people to do. Really difficult. Yeah. Uh. 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 uh think about. Okay, uh, how about the. It's, uh, a back think flip. about a backflip. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I was about to, I was about to roast you a little bit there, but you're fine. You're fine. Let's do no, a backflip. No, no, no roasting. No roasting the phoenix. We won't get anywhere with that. I'm get constantly some, get roasted. Some chicken. Get some chicken. <laughs> um, <laughs> All right, so let's say difficulty is going to be, mm, let's go ahead and make that nine, okay? Difficulty Whoa. is nine. So let's go ahead and roll your strength. Plus athletics. We're gonna have it be strength and athletics. You gotta be doing that again. Is five. Five. five Okie dokie. So we're gonna do a roll. Five d ten, and let's see what we get. Um. So we got eight, two, Shit. five, one, six. But because the difficulty is nine, um, I unfortunately, was so close. no successes. You try and do the so backflip. You bonk your head. Or what? <laughs> you didn't break your head, or you didn't break your back, but you did bonk your head on the ground, and you're gonna take two bashing uh. damage. Um, we'll go up, we'll go over how damage works a little bit later once it becomes relevant. But yeah, you're gonna get hurt because of that, right? Oh man, ouch! Yeah. I expected that. That was the outcome I expected. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now we basically know how the roles are going to work. Essentially, you've got kind of an idea. Nado Hodo. Yes. Nado Hodo <laughs> Yeah. That. Yeah. Let's see. Mm -hmm. What is the? I think we're gonna go ahead and get started then. If you're all ready to go. I guess so. So now I am... T tiara Ara. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey. I'm nervous about role-playing. Oh my god, it's gonna be a bit embarrassing in the first session. I think I'll do my best. <laughs> That's okay. You you'll be fine. I'm gonna be doing it too. I may get a little in character as well. Um... A uh, uh, little update, uh, because my members saw me drawing my character. It's like, I, I couldn't uh, finish it for today, but it will be... I'll finish it sometime soon when I got time, but... 
Yeah, my members already have a rough image of what Tiara looks like. Uh, I'll show it to you guys whenever it's finished, Yoroshiku. Excellent. Sounds good. All <laughs> right, now let's see. Let go ahead and um, set the stage in just a moment. Oh, but first... Oh, no, no, no. Let's see. We're starting out in, right. in a park, in a, in a wood. Um, let's see. Well, first, um, I'd like to kind of set the scene by, um, I guess, introducing overall the, the big setting of the story. Wow! So basically, uh, our story begins in a coastal city called Mifton. 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 That's right. Oh. How very original. <laughs> original name. Woo! I like it. <laughs> yeah. So here's the special thing about Mifton. Um, nothing. Uh, essentially, <laughs> <laughs> essentially, uh, Mifton is known for nothing but its abundance of corn and absolutely nothing corn. else. Why did you choose to come to this failing tourist trap of a place, Because I love corn. <laughs> Clearly. M no, must no, no. be something um, like that. Okay, you're asking, yeah, okay, ti Tiara. I, I have come to this place because, um, I want to find more birds, Ada. Y yes, <laughs> essentially that that is correct. For Tiara, there's only one other thing that could have piqued your boundless curiosity, and uh, the only reason that you could have been drawn to this lackluster town, a specific. Corn. <laughs> uh, besides corn, besides corn, <laughs> a specific breed of owl tends ah! to nest here. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Yes. Indeed, I know that, Ada. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Though a rare find indeed, it is one you've set your sights on for a while. So, continuing your ever perilous journey across an unknown land, you've settled here at least for a little while. A dusty old tattered apartment will have to do as you've burned through the last bit of money you've saved, and you've been out of a job for quite a while now. But, at least your birds have been well and the town has been quiet and peaceful, so what more could you ask for? Nothing. This is wonderful, Ada. Yeah, exactly. So, before we go ahead and dive right into the, the scenery of the story, how about you go ahead and give us a little idea of a day in the life of our protagonist, Tiara. Uh, a day in the life. All right. <laughs> sure. From the moment you wake up in the morning. Yeah, okay. Well, so I... I, I wake up uh, quite early in the morning because some birds are active in the morning. Ara, um, yes. so I uh, after uh, eating a little bit of bread because I can't um, afford much more than bread, I uh, I m m make myself out into the woods and go for some bird watching. Ara, mm. mm. and then. Uh, uh, oh yeah, by the way, of course, I'm accompanied by my little owl, Uhu, which I brought with me from my homeland, Sara. Mm. And while we're watching some burbs, I'm also looking for some food for Uhu. Uhu pretty much eats anything, um, especially mice. Uh, so I try to find some mice, but Uhu can probably do uh, it better than I can do. So I leave it to Uhu. Mm. Yeah, so after the bird watching that well, we're gonna be doing for some some hours, I I go back into the city and I um, I try to learn more about the city because I've just arrived. I try to uh, find some new restaurants and, and stores and maybe some new accessories for my my um, my home and my clothes and trying to find some weapons because apparently I left my weapons at home, Ada. Um, Ada, Ada. Indeed. So yeah, I'm still, still on the search for some weapons, but also maybe, perhaps, maybe for a small side job uh, to afford those weapons, Ada, because life is tough out here. Mm. Uh, yeah, and uh, oh dear. Um, so yeah, that's then, then, then it's probably evening time. <laughs> and then I go, I'll go back home after that stroll in the city. And I, I just hang out with my owl, Uhu. Mm -hmm. And I write in a, in a diary because I apparently keep di diaries. I don't. Um, yeah. Great. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, 
uh, oh yeah, and then I, I try to make some dinner, which is usually just um, bun and sope, or uh, bean soup. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cheap as hell, but it will do. It's it's all I need. I'm not very picky about food. Ara, I'll eat anything, and uh, yeah, and then I I go back to sleep. That's a basic 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 day maybe, but. Uh, I'm waiting for some adventure. As, as soon as I get my guns out, I'll be out there <laughs> getting my bribs. Yes, indeed. Interestingly enough, uh, the main reason that you weren't able to bring your firearms along with you is because you had a hard time getting them through customs and immigration. Yeah. Um, yeah, that is true. Yeah. Yes, yes. That's well, it was where we traveled some. Yeah, Ada, Ada. <laughs> yes. Um, however, um, who knows? Anything could happen in the future. So, you know, keep on keeping on. We'll see what happens. Um, <laughs> but yes, essentially, Tiara, you've been a little uh, bimbo for a while. As in, like, no money. No money, sadly. Um, Japanese Japanese yes. bimbo, yes. Yeah, yes. Japanese bimbo. Th th yes, that, that's what, that's the, that was the bimbo that I meant. Listen. <laughs> that was what... <laughs> Listen. Listen. <laughs> It's Listen. okay. I, I understand, but I had to clarify it for yes. some people. <laughs> yes, exactly. Correct. Correct. You, you would be correct. So you have been living off of um, off of bread and uh, some cheap soup, and living in um, a, a decently old and tattered apartment, kind of on the uh, the outskirts of town. Wait, which is uh, actually pretty good because since the apartment is so old, it's also um, infested with uh, mice, which is perfect dinner for my owl. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's right. That is the one nice thing. Very lucky. You got pretty lucky. It's on that exactly one. the reason why I chose this apartment. It was all planned, Ada. <laughs> mm, from the beginning, all part of your plan. Do you? Yes, um, do you have any other birds with you aside from Uhu? If I'm allowed. <laughs> sure. That's fine. Uh, I. Mm, so there. There is a. There's a cr cr crow mm -hmm. uh, that followed me. Started following me in the city. I had some crows uh, back in my hometown as well, but mm -hmm. I left that one. Th those there because of. I don't know. I felt that it might be safer for them there. Uh, but I uh, recently, I don't know, maybe birds just like me, but a, cra a crow has found a liking in me recently and uh, sometimes accompanies me and chills and hangs out with Uhu. Ada, ada. Mm. Okay, wonderful. Sounds good. Yeah, they, they let, also, they let you take birds in through customs and immigration, but no guns. So <laughs> that's kind of an interesting thing, I suppose. But, you know, you really like those birds and maybe they felt kind of bad taking those birds away. So. Well, it's only company. possible. It's just quite quite a hassle with documentation and, and vaccination and stuff. You mm. have to get your bird vaccinated and checked out in order to bring it over. Yeah, but I I, I do what I have to do for my favorite bird. Uh -huh. Yes, exactly. That's what makes all of it worth it. Mm -hmm. Yep. And so all of you are here in this brand new place in this brand new country that you've never been to before. Though you've been living you've been living here for several weeks now. I would say at the time of our story. Mm -hmm. Several mm -hmm. weeks you've been here. So let's go ahead and start off by throwing you straight into the story, and I'll have you make your first perception check, Tiara. Yata! Okay, okay. Yes, I understand. Right. Uh, oh wait, do I roll? What was it, wits and? Wits and composure. Uh, that's three dices, please, Calm. Ada. All right, here we go. I'll switch to something a little more calming. All right, here we are. And um, for perception checks, I would say all difficulty is going to be six. Oh, wow. So you got, that was uh, an incredible success. That was a significant. Uh -huh. Wow, okay. Okay, nice. As expected, Ada. Yes, very, very good. Okay, three successes. Nice. All right. So I'll go ahead and set the scene for you in this case. Okay, so, I'm, looking. I'm, I'm looking. You've come. You've come to your favorite park. Uh, this one is decidedly your favorite. Uh, you've been to several parks around this city, but this one, there's just something special about it. There's something delicious smelling on the air. Not not really like a delicious food, but just a freshness that you can't even describe. Um, and so many birds. Many of them are birds that you've seen before, um, but occasionally you see one that, that you've never seen and you take a quick picture of it, but they all seem to gravitate towards you in some kind of way. It's almost like they can tell that you're one of the good humans. Yes, yes, yes. They love me, Ada. Yes, indeed. So 
the birds are chirping as per the usual on this lovely day at your favorite park. Oh, wait, I can, I can hear sound effects. <laughs> oh, nice! <laughs> You're yeah. chirping and it's fine. <laughs> Perfect, that's right. Yes, exactly. Now everyone can hear the birds chirp. <laughs> And the trees are just full of them today, especially because it's a nice sunny day and um, the grass is swaying ever so lightly. And uh, the flowers that bloom in summer have just begun to poke out just a little bit, ever so slightly. Um, and it's not quite that time of year where, where bugs are getting too, um, too feisty around these parts. So it's basically a perfect day and you hear some children laughing off in the distance all kind of playing together by the edge of the forest. Um, and you're sitting on your favorite park bench and uh, just admiring the birds above you. What do you choose to do from here? I choose to take a little bit of bread out of my pocket and feed it to the birds. I'll okay. try to get them to come over. Sure. Uh -huh. So to do that, I'm going to have you roll um, an animal can roll. So to do that, um, I'm going to go ahead and have you add up your wits and your animal ken, and let me know what that is. Oh, that is five dice, please, Anna. Great. And do you have a specialty in birds? I do. I have verb communication. All right. I can talk to them. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and make that uh, six dice, okay? Oh, yes. Sounds and good. the difficulty for this will be six. So let's go roll a six d10. Let's see what we got here. One, two, three successes. All right. Uh -huh. That's very good. So uh, you've done this quite a few times before, Tiara. This is nothing new to you. So you kind of spread out the breadcrumbs on the ground and uh, gently await for them to come to you. Um, you don't do anything, any too sudden movements or anything shocking that would scare them away because you typically know how to interact with birds. And um, just like clockwork, every single time they, they come... Uh, just bobbing up to you, um, eating the crumbs, and then even after that, sticking around you, um, chirping happily. Mm. <laughs> just like that. <laughs> just like that. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Business Cute. as usual. Mm. You've got about Cute. ten of them surrounding you right now. Oh, damn, I'm the burb lady. Mm. In fact, one of um, them, one of them is sitting on my lap. <laughs> yes, probably at this point. Yeah, with that kind of success, I would say so. In fact, Ooh, I would say a couple a little of them. Bit jealous. <laughs> yes, definitely. You can tell that uh, your friend, your owl Uhu, is um, is a little on the jealous side, kind of uh, turning their head <laughs> back and forth <laughs> in a curious motion, tilting. <laughs> Gotta tilt Uhu. that head. The owl, Uhu, the owl come on, tilt. you know you're my number one, Ada. You know it. I would never replace you, Anna. Who hears this and just turns their head away like... <laughs> oh, you freaking Tsunetu Burb, Anna. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, by now, actually, about five birds um, are kind of sitting up on your lap. Oh, yeah. In fact, um, they seem to be interested in something that you are wearing, as a matter of fact. Oh... And um, you glance down to kind of remember. Um, you actually are wearing a pendant around your neck. Oh, okay. It's a necklace. A necklace you received a long time ago from someone you can't quite remember. The pendant <gasps> is in the shape of a phoenix. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And birds I love at, I, I look at my pendant. Mm -hmm. Burbs looking at my pendant. I open up the pendant, perhaps. Um, actually, it's um, it's not like a, a locket or anything. It's just oh, it's um, closed. Okay. yeah, it's just a gold, a gold uh pendant in the shape of a phoenix, and it glimmers in the sunlight. Boom! Um, uh, wow, sparkly. Yeah. So sparkly that the, the crows around me wanna wanna steal it. They, uh -huh. they do kind of want to take it from you. <laughs> uh, I will not let them. I will protect it. It's an important pendant. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Sounds good. Um, the birds are kind of approaching and getting closer, trying to get a closer look at it. You can roll. You can roll to tell them to go away if you would like, or to stop bothering well, you about your pendant. Well, I have verb communication, so I tell them 
No take, no take Tiara Sparkly finger, huh? No, no. All right, let's see what you get then. Difficulty six. Okay, we've got 666, six, six, uh, the number of the beast, say numbers, all right, but you still managed to do it. Um, they understand. <laughs> yeah, they kind of tilt their heads curiously and um, eventually just kind of hop away from the pendant and kind of focus back on eating the breadcrumbs. They're very good, very good, sehr gut. And at this time, um, go ahead and make another perception check roll for me, okay? Uh, that was uh, wits and... Composure. With and composure. Free dices. All right, here you go. Difficulty six. Oh, wow, that's another very high success. Um, oh, ho, ho. So at this point, um, you do notice something kind of odd. Um, well, first of all, you notice a friendly old couple is sitting on a bench across from you um, and seem to be looking at you uh, with kind of a sweet look in their eyes because um, they've seen you come to this park before. You feel like you've seen them as well, and they seem like a friendly old couple. Um, oh, hello, you too, Ada. <laughs> well, hello there, young one. Enjoying a day with the birds? Yeah, we, they, they are being uh, a bit uh, a bit too greedy today. But I, I tell them what where their place is at, Ada. Ha 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 The old couple chuckles. Ah, yes, the birds around here are usually a little feisty, but that's because we feed them too much. <laughs> yeah, they looked very fat indeed, Ada. <laughs> the old couple chuckles. And at this point, you also realize that um, the children that were playing by the edge of the forest uh, have disappeared. <laughs> yeah, they're gone. Um, children. Yeah, but I mean, you know the kids around these parts like to go on little adventures. And they probably had to adventures. go back home to their mummies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. Perhaps that's what happened. Um, and you also notice something else. Um, a tall figure in the distance... Um, has been looking at you for a while. Very far away, though. Whoa. That's, that's kind of creepy. Yeah. I, I asked I asked the, 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 the couple if they know that dude in the distance. Ada. Hmm. Um, let's see. To ask something specific like that, you have a bit of, um... You have a bit of a, a hard time with, um, the country's language, correct? Well, 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 well I'm multilingual, but... but, but... But just, just not. Mm, let's mm, let's I can see. I the language, but it's not perfect. Let's see. Uh, because it's a fairly simple thing that you're asking for, like, hey, do you know that person over there? Um, I won't have you roll for it. We'll just have it be an automatic action. But that will be something in the future that may come up. So keep that in okay. mind. If you're asking for very okay. specific things, I'll have you roll. Um, oh. now, the old couple kind of glances behind uh, their shoulders, and they don't seem to think anything very suspicious of the person behind them, and just kind of oh. shrug it off and say, "Oh, there are all there are folks from all around that come here, like you, for example." Um, oh. Sometimes you don't see the same person twice. We certainly haven't seen any strange character like that before. Oh, I don't quite trust them. Mm. Ada. The old couple does look a little worried. <laughs> But uh, mm. but by the time that um, that you've said anything, the figure has actually noticed that the three of you were looking their way and has since begun walking away. Oh, okay. Well, that's uh, that's, that's probably for the better, I guess. I hope I don't meet that person anymore, Ada. Hmm. Yes, possibly, potentially. Could could be could be just you know any other passerby, but. You know, shady folks, you take note of them sometimes. Mm hmm All so right. Recently, I've heard, I've heard about some incidents in the city, so... Um, gotta be careful out there, Ada. Mm-hmm, mm hmm That's right. Especially in this city. The city of Mythton. Crime has actually been on the rise recently, you've seen in the Ooh. news. Oh, yes. Indeed. Yes. So you, got, you gotta be a little careful. You can never be too careful in this kind of situation. Can I... Can I make... Ooh, follow the dude. <laughs> sure, if you'd like to. Uh, go ahead and do the same roll to communicate to your bird. Uh, th that's what you would like Uhu to do. I think that was six. Six dices. Mm. All right, here we go. And um, let's go ahead and make the difficulty of this one seven, I would say, because uh, Uhu is going on a, a tracking mission, which can be a bit difficult, and you need to give yeah. some specific instructions. Yes, yes. All right, so we've got one, two, three, four. Four successes. That is a very oh. exceptional success. 
Yes, that's a guy. All right. So, what do you say to Uhu? Mm, uh -huh. You have to be careful, but follow that dude a little bit and see where he's going. Maybe if he enters a restaurant or something, let me know where it is later. All right. Um, Uhu kind of does the, the typical head jerk that you're used to and then flies off immediately. Um, because Uhu pretty much knows exactly what, what you want them to do. Take care, Adam! All right. And off they go. Um, now it's starting to get a little bit later. Um, the sun is beginning to set just a bit on the horizon. What do you choose to do? Mm, I choose to wait here for Uhu to come back because otherwise Uhu maybe has trouble finding me. Ada. Mm, okay, okay. Sounds good. So you wait. And the wait. waiting game strikes. I wait. <laughs> And wait, and now it has become oh. very late at night. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Who didn't come back? Um, just as you're beginning to believe that your owl has gotten lost, uh, you hear a familiar flutter of wings approaching you. <gasps> and it appears that Uhu has returned. Uhu, welcome back, Adam. I hug, I hug Uhu. Uhu kind of jerks their head around. Mm. Who loves me? <laughs> <laughs> No. Mm. So, what do you say to Uhu? Uhu. Mm. 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 Well, I mean, hmm. Good question. <laughs> Would you like to inquire did, about something specific? Oh, uh, uh, did 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 the dude? Uh, did you did do you know where he went to? Did you see where he went? Uhu. I All right. We'll go ahead and do the same roll, and we'll make it a seven for difficulty again. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay, well, you got two successes. Oh, that's a lot of ones. Um, oh, man. You said you won't. I won't. Things. I won't cancel it. I won't cancel it, but um, it probably won't be an amazing success in this sense. Um, but you do get some information. Essentially, from from Uhu's kind of uh, telegraphed jerks of the head and whatnot, um, you can tell that um, Uhu is telling you that that figure basically just went to their house. Um, okay. Some old, tattered place, but Uhu also tells you that um, that they've remembered the location. Just okay, in case. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Good job, Uhu. I give Uhu a little bit of a snack as a thank you. Who is overjoyed and ruffles their feathers and gladly <laughs> takes the snack from you and eats it oh, with glee. Oh, cute, 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 cute. Mm -hmm. All right. Now that it's about um, probably rather late in the evening, I would say, what do you choose to do? We go back home and eat our bean soup, Ada. All right. Sounds good. We're going to go ahead and uh, go home then. Here we go. Let's see. Now home for you um, is, well, like I mentioned before, a rather tattered apartment. Um, mm -hmm. Pretty old and dusty, but you've done a decent job cleaning the place up. You know, it is what mm -hmm. it is. It's home. It's just enough for you, at least. So you yeah, go ahead and... Um, it's night. Yeah. So you enter your home and, and begin the usual nightly ritual of preparing soup uh, for you and your birds. Um, and the birds are, of course, as excited as ever uh, to get a tasty meal made by Tiara herself. <laughs> High quality, five star hotel meal. Mm -hmm. mm, yes, of course, of course. And you guys all enjoy a nice meal together. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, I hear, I hear uh, a mouse uh, crawling under, uh, under my ceiling. So, Uhu is uh, very, very excited to get that mouse. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Go get him, go get him, I say. Go get him. Uhu eat flies off. <laughs> flies off Casper. to presumably go eat the mouse. And now Casper did. Nice. Oh gosh, not Casper. <laughs> <laughs> And just like that, uh, Uhu disappears. Uh, under the ceiling. Yeah, <laughs> under the He's ceiling. Still there. Hmm. He's Definitely still, there. still in your house. Right. <laughs> mm. The birds surround you as you're enjoying your soup, um, and they chirp in a way that you are familiar with. 
um, kind of nudging at your phone because, um, as per the usual, some of the birds are curious about the pictures that you got today. Yeah, yeah, I took some pictures, so I'm editing them to to upload them online. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. Yeah. So, um, you take out you take out your phone and you begin uh, scrolling through your photos as you usually do, um, showing off the birds that you have found today, sending them off to be edited mm -hmm. on your computer, presumably. Mm -hmm. <gasps> but, but in one of the pictures. Of a bird in the background, I see that dude again. <gasps> yes. <laughs> yes, in fact, wow, very perceptive of you. He didn't even have to roll. Is that what you were going to do? <laughs> uh, no, not quite, but, um, well, you'll see. Basically, there is what? a blurry image. You do notice that in one of your photos. It's a little weird. Uh, it's a little creepy, but, you know, <laughs> apparently they went off, and it seems like it was... It was no harm, no foul. Nothing really he bad. He ruined happened. my picture, though. He ruined the picture. Sure, he did. Maybe you can edit him out. Who knows? What a I'll try. Photo but I'm not good with with technical stuff. I can only only take photos, not do much more. That's right. That's right. Tiara is not exactly the technical type, huh? Yes, that is true, Ada. Well, that's all right. I mean, the the photos themselves are pretty good. As a matter of mm. fact, maybe some mm -hmm. of your prouder work. I know what the chocolate side of a bird is. <laughs> yes. Wait, is that how you say it in English? The chocolate side? <gasps> yeah. Uh, Wait, do you not see? Well, there we go. I'm, I'm just role playing here. This is totally uh, role play. <laughs> even the birds are like, what is the chocolate side of, of me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that is that that is the language of somewhere somewhere elsean. Mm, somewhere elsean, correct? Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's where uh, that's where Tiara is from. Mm -hmm. um, as you're scrolling through your photos, actually, um, Tiara, you kind of, um, you get to the last photo, and then on your phone, if you've scrolled through all the photos, you tend to kind of go to the very first photo once again in your phone. Um, mm -hmm. And by accident, you kind of scroll and return to the very first photo in your phone, which is a picture of you with someone whose face you can't quite discern. It's blurry for some reason. That person's face. Oh. Oh, I tried to zoom in, but I can't really see much. Yeah, you zoom in and you start to realize it's it's not so much the phone itself, but rather your own foggy memory that isn't allowing you to understand the face of the person in the photo. How about you go ahead and roll a memory check for me? Okay. That's going to be intelligence and wits. Four dice is please four. All right. We'll go ahead and roll a 4d10. And the difficulty for this one is going to be 7. So here we go. Oh, dear. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know who the hell that is, Ada. <laughs> you have no idea. You've got no clue. No idea. Um, but... Don't remember. There is one clue. There is one clue in the photo that is just very obvious. I'll give you the obvious one. And okay. it's that um, in the photo... That person is giving you a pendant. <gasps> oh. mm. The gold oh, pendant around your neck. That's where I got that pendant from, Ara. I totally forgot where... But, well, I still don't really know. I mean, who the hell is that, Ara? Yeah, you're not really sure. And the sad part is... You could swear that you remembered at some point. But mm. the more you try to remember, it's almost like... The more you keep forgetting. Why have I forgotten? But, but Kelly, apparently I do keep a diary. <laughs> you do keep a diary. So would you like to well, go I take a look in there? Oh yeah, if, if you let me, I'll, I'll go take a look then. Sure, you go to your diary, kind of brush it off and I open need, it up. I need to update it before I go to sleep too. I need to write in about that dude as well. True, true, exactly. Mm -hmm. So you go ahead and you um open up your diary. um, And in order to do some research to try and figure out who the blurry figure in your phone is. You'll need to go ahead and do, uh, let's see. Let me see what kind of role I'm going to have you do. Um, mm. <laughs> in order to research who that person is, um, I'll have you go ahead and roll intelligence and let's see. We'll go ahead and make it an academics and intelligence roll because you're doing some oh. research. Some, some of, uh, four. Yeah. four. Four dices. Okay. 
four, D ten, and I'm glad you didn't say investigation because that's also a thing and I have no points in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It is the tutorial after all. <laughs> so so things might be a bit on the easier side for this go around. Um, the difficulty for this roll, I'm going to go ahead and make a uh, 70 10 again. So here we go. Oh gosh. Ah, ah, oh goodness. Ah. Oh man. I wonder if the luck is starting to run out. Nah, oh, we'll see. No, we'll see. no hints. No hints about the dude in my diary, huh? Would you like to try again? Because if you try again, you, you can try to do it again, but it will take more time. So it might get to be decently late at night, maybe like 2 a.m., 3 a.m. Mm, I will try again because that got me quite curious. Mm -hmm. All right. That's apparently a flaw, but in this case, it could be a merit. <laughs> true, true, true. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and roll 4d10. Difficulty is still 7. I won't up it this time, so here we go. Okay, you've got okay. one success. <laughs> one success here. So you kind of scroll back through your diary. Um, and to be honest, a lot of the, the mentions of people in your life and whatnot um, seem to be fairly distant, like friends, for example. Um, hmm. But you do stumble upon um, a page from decently long ago. Um, hmm. I'd say hmm. about um, maybe two or three years ago. Hmm. Not yeah, so long ago. Right. Not too long ago, but you do you do read an entry that mentions um someone going away for a long time. And interestingly enough, the name of the person has been completely blurred out. <gasps> Did I spill water over it or what? Yeah, it's like, it's kind of worn away over time, almost as like, as if someone has taken an eraser and tried to erase it out very frantically. <gasps> That's what, what kind of mean? catches your eye in the first place. But just because what, the name... Ah, mm, not sure, <laughs> up to speculation. But just because the name is erased um, doesn't mean that uh, your investigative abilities have lost sight of the fact that someone is mentioned in the entry, someone specific, uh -huh. particularly your brother. Oh, oh, oh yeah, I have a brother. Oh yeah, yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. He That's taught right. me how to use guns. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yep, That's actually what the entry is kind of about. Um, you are reminiscing about your brother teaching you how to use guns. Um, a long time ago, actually, you, you really learned how to use them since a younger age because your brother had some kind of business that he was doing and never really told you a lot about. Mmm, a little bit um, mysterious, brother. Indeed. But about two or three years ago, um, he left to go on a journey somewhere far away, and and the way that he worded it made you a bit nervous, um, mm. because it sounded almost as though he was in a bit of trouble, but he was trying to assure you, you remember, that things were going to be fine. Didn't tell you where he went or anything like that. Just kind of gone. Hey. Yeah. He just left me, and that was, that was uh, sad for me, and maybe partially the reason why I wanted to go out. Uh, finally, as well, on my own. Mm -hmm. Wow, what a fine memory that you have just procured in this moment. Mm -hmm. And though you're unsure exactly if the person in the photo is your brother, you get the sense that it is certainly a possibility. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe that was him and that... But maybe he looked at me from the distance and also wasn't sure, like, if, if I am who I am. Because he can't believe I'm here. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe I'll find him again. Maybe, maybe now that we know where his house is, tomorrow we can go and say hello. Hmm. Indeed. If that's what you'd like to do, tomorrow is a new day after all. Sounds a bit dangerous though. Hmm. And I don't like to trust people that much. Hmm. Maybe I'll just go to the park again tomorrow. Oh. And then see if he comes again. Rather than going straight to his house. Yeah. I think I'll do that. And now I'll sleep. All Good right. night, birds. <laughs> Good night. Your birds kind of swarm around you and give you their goodnight greeting. Before kind of slowly, slowly but surely, um, 
falling asleep with you. In the same room, presumably. Cute. They're, yeah. they're protecting me. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You do feel fairly protected and secure thanks to all of your birds around you. Good bird. Now, the next morning comes, and let's see. But for now, for now, you are dreaming. You are dreaming. And let's see. Going to go ahead and let's see. Like so. All right. You awake in the morning to something fairly unpleasant, Tiara. Oh no. This is what you hear. What? Yo, wake up! <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm awake, I'm awake, Ola. who is this? Shana? Someone is knocking firmly on your door and is very upset. I, I look for the keyhole. The keyhole, not the keyhole. The, 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 that one hole <laughs> in the door. The, oh, the, 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 the glass one. <laughs> Even I'm yeah. forgetting. The peephole, maybe. <laughs> or maybe peepholes are a little... It's something like that. Something like that. You look through that little glass thing that's in the door. You, you look through it. And you see, um, a fairly, a fairly short and, um, Aww. agitated looking woman with black hair kind of pulled back into a ball and she seems very angry. Um, oh shit, is she asking for rent? Is that my landlord? <laughs> you do recognize her as the person who, who gave you the key to this place. Shit. Uh, mm, I, uh, I, I keep the, the lock, the, the chain lock on the door, but open up the door, so only, like, a little bit. <laughs> All right, sounds good. You open it up a little bit, and she immediately begins going off on you, saying things like, you know, rent was due about two weeks ago, and I've been very, very patient with you, giving you this place, letting you stay here for so long, you and your birds, who keep me up all night with their endless squawking. And you think it's okay to not pay your rent? Do you have anything to say? I, sorry, I, I, I am new here, Ada. I don't uh, speak uh, your language, Ada. <sighs> Another foreigner. Uh, sorry, Ada. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I have... I have money, Ada. Uh, we'll we'll bring uh, money uh, soon, Ada. Soon? How mm. soon? Give me an estimate. I need numbers, Madame. Please I, tell me. Uh, I did not uh, practice numbers yet, Ada. Uh, I don't Look, know numbers. I would love to let you stay here out of the kindness of my old heart. However, however, uh. I also have bills to pay. Uh, uh, sorry, do not understand, Dada. No, no, sorry. I close the door. <laughs> you can't run away from me. <laughs> I own this building. She seems very persistent. Hmm. Uh, okay. Uh, whew. I think, I think she, uh, um, believed that I indeed was this bad with the language. Uh, I think she <laughs> believes me. <laughs> she knocks again. <laughs> Listen, uh, do you have a job? Uh, 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 I, I open the door again and say, Job? Uh, I uh, look look for job, Ada. You have job, Ada? Do you want a job? Yes, please, job give me, Ada. I work hard, Ada. The landlord sighs and she kind of rubs her eyebrows and seems very distraught, but says, I do know some people. Oh, you know people? I who, do. Who people, Ada? Uh, hmm. Look, you can have your choice of a job. I know about three different people who are looking for someone who can do menial tasks. Just use a word that you don't know. Uh, what task? Menial. <sighs> easy tasks. Easy tasks easy, for people like easy, you. Easy, easy. Okay, okay, Ada. I'll I give can, you their I can contact. Cook, uh, bean soup, Ada. 
Um, unfortunately, that's not going to cut it for some of these jobs. Hate to tell ya. Mm, I see, I see, Ada. I hope okay. you can get your act I, together. I learn. I can learn new thing, Ada. Hmm. So be it. And with that, the landlord whips out a notepad, pulls out Ooh. her flip phone, Ooh. and start and starts scrolling through her con her uh, contacts. That's the word. Ooh. Contacts and begins to write some numbers down. Shoves the paper through the mail slot and says, "Get some money fast. You have two weeks." Oh, okay, Ada. Thank you very much, Ada. All right. I close the door and I take the paper. Okay. Now go ahead and roll a perception check for me. With uh, intelligence? Uh, wits and composure. Oh, composure. That's three d Uh, three dice, yes. All right, here you go. Oh, what was that? What was it? The difficulty? Six. Okay. <laughs> you got one success. Uh, the landlord's handwriting is pretty bad. Like, really not very good. The last. Why would you think I can read that, Ada? <laughs> God damn it! Unfortunately, uh, out of the three jobs that are listed on the paper, the last one's number is very smudged out. Um, but mm. you've got three different jobs that look like they are available to you with phone numbers. The first one appears to be some kind of cafe job. Um, mm, 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 mm. It just it just says cafe and then a number under mm. it. The second one okay. appears to be some kind of bird shop. Huh? With bird a number shop. under it. And the last one looks to be some kind of old theater, but the contact number is completely smudged out. I'm going for the bird shop, Ada. Sounds All perfect right. for me. Great. Would you like to call the number? Yes. Moshi moshi. I call number. All right. People, people, people. People, people. The phone rings a couple of times, and a couple times more, and a couple times more. The line seems to be a little busy, but then eventually, you do get an answer. Oh, hello? 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 Hello, uh, my name is uh, Tiara. Hello. hello? Hello? Can, Can you, you say me? that a bit louder, my dear? <laughs> Hello, my name is Tiara Ara. Hello? Yeah, yeah. My, Can you my, say my... that a bit louder, my dear? Oh. Hello. Hello. You're breaking my up, is... my dear. I'm sorry. Can you just can you just come to the shop? I can't hear you for the life of me. Okay, okay I, I come to shop. Do you have address? Address Ara? Do, do I have what? Can you one more time? You're going to have to roll. Anna. You're going to have to roll your expression and uh, presence. Is it three expression? Expression. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Three dices, please. All right. However, because you don't have a you don't have a point in expression, it's going to be a minus one for being unskilled. So it's two dice. Okay. All right. So roll two d10. Difficulty is six. See what you got. All right, one success. One success. All right, so you can barely, you can, you can. I mean, you can hear her fine. She's the one that can't hear you. But she says the the oh the the ad the address. Um, let's see. Oh, can I even remember? I forget everything these days. One moment. Um, let's see. Take your time, Ada. Oh. Oh, what, what, what was that? Can you say that one more time? Take your time, Ada! Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. Do, do you know where the forest is? Yes? The, the, for, the forest, with, with the park next to it. The, the forest. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, if if you don't enter the forest, it's it's very dangerous. If if you go to that park and and you head east, it will be the first shop that you see on on a very busy street. C can you do that? I think I can. Yes, no problem, Ada. Oh, all, all right. I uh, I will be, I will be waiting. I will <sighs> Quiet. Silence. Hold there now. You hear some you hear some squawks. You hear some squawks over the phone. 
Some angry chirps. I'm on the way! I'm on the way, Adam! Oh, 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 can you say that one more time? And then the phone hangs up. <laughs> phone hangs up. Why? All right, all right, all right. Uh, well, since it's so early uh, in the morning, I first eat some bread for breakfast, and then I think I'll get going. All right, sounds good. Um, now you kind of remember the directions that uh, that the woman on the phone gave to you. It was it was kind of hard to understand, but you can mm. remember. So, in order to mm. navigate your way to the shop, I'm going to have you go ahead and roll. Let's see. What shall I have you roll? Um, let's just do um, a memory check. Intelligence and wits. Uh, four. Four. All right. Excellent. All right. And the um, difficulty is going to be seven because it was really kind of hard to hear exactly what she said. Y you know, she said forest. She could have said florist. Who knows? So here we go. All right. Let's see. Six, six, five, one. Ah. Uh, Dang it. But, 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 but she said park and then and then forest and east mm -hmm. and she said dangerous. The forest is not going to be dangerous. So right. she obviously means forest. Right. Mm. But but Tiara remembers going to the forest and then that's about it. So you kind of wander around that area. You can roll again if you'd like to try and remember again. But it is about early <laughs> afternoon at this point if you want to do another roll. I'll roll again. All right. Roll for d10. Difficulty is still seven. All right, you got two successes. Excellent. All right. So with your two successes, you remember, ah, oh, that's right, east. East from the park by the forest. Okay, okay. So you kind of figured it out. Um, All and right, you I'm on my way. And Uhu, Uhu follows me. All right, so you you believe you've arrived when you see a kind of busy street, um, quite hustling and bustling. Um, mm. We'll go ahead and go to the shop. And you can tell that it's a bird shop because immediately you can see out front um, there are some cages with little birds uh, who look like they're enjoying some time in the sunlight, kind of oh! chirping merrily. Ah, cute! Mm -hmm. Oh, I never saw that bird before. I wonder what that one is, Anna. Mm -hmm. <gasps> now, I guess I try into the shop and find the lady. All right. So before you do that, I'll have you roll another perception check. Oh, three dices? Yes. That's uh, four, 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 four. Oh, four for per perception. E yeah, it's yeah. It's yeah, oh, with... that's the memory ah. check. Oh, sorry. Ah, go, 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 combo. Okay, three dices. Okie dokie, and difficulty is six. Here we go. All right, and that's another roll. Oh. Okay. Even though that was already an a success. Yeah. Oh, can I so take the first one then? Oh, no, it's okay. So basically, because you got a 10 ah, and an 8. Yeah, that replaces. And the 6. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's an added success, pretty much. So you have 1, Ooh. 2, 3. You have 3 Ooh. successes now. Okay, that's an exceptional success. So pretty, pretty good. Mm -hmm. I will give you a, de a nice detailed description of the area. So when you approach the front of the shop, um, you can see that there are, of course, many cages with birds chirping merrily. Um, they seem to be enjoying the day. You can see that they're well fed and well taken care of. This seems like an area where the birds are decently happy, thankfully. Uh. Um, you get just kind of a good aura from, from this particular shop. Um, an aura that you can kind of trust. Though the shop itself is rather worn down and, um, it looks like it's seen quite a few years, and, and the windows are rather dusty, and you get the feeling that it doesn't quite have the level of, of upkeep that is usually necessary, required for, for, this kind of, uh, for this kind of place, unfortunately. While it feels as though the owner is friendly, loves the birds, and maybe takes good care of them, uh, the shop itself is pretty dirty. Um, even once you enter the front door, you can tell that... Um, it's not very clean, and you get the sense that only one person is running this shop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, and uh, after that, I would say as soon as you enter the shop, you see there is an old woman kind of perched behind a cash register, and she is on the phone once again, kind of yelling. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty much the same situation as when you called her on the phone. Can you say that again, my dear? Mm -hmm. 
I couldn't quite... Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. I, I have to go. I'll call you right back. And she hangs up the phone and looks at you. And the first thing that she looks at when she notices you is, of course, your owl. <laughs> yeah. Nice to meet you. Uh, I was the one on the phone. Tiara. Hello. Oh. Uh, hello there. A, a bit a bit late, but thank you for coming nonetheless. I appreciate it. Yeah. I was a bit difficult to hear you on the phone, so I was a bit lost, Ara. Me? But but I speak loud and clear. I was having trouble hearing you. I'm sorry. I was speaking well, loud. Well, no matter. Um, no matter. Oh, yes, yes, I, I yes. must say, you seem rather friendly, and I'm most intrigued by the bird that you have with you right there on your yeah. shoulder. I brought it from somewhere else, Ian. Have you heard uh, of that place before? Somewhere else, Ian. Ah, oh, let me see. Hmm, you, well, hmm, that's difficult. You see, I really haven't traveled out of this town basically ever. So. Hmm, it's quite far away. It's over the seas. I see. Anna. <laughs> she seems to be kind of off in another world now at this point. Oh. She's got that kind of. that, uh, that thousand mile stare. I... I clap into my hand. <laughs> ah. Oh! You'll have to excuse me. Sometimes I space out a little bit. And then, <laughs> as soon as she says that, several of the birds start making quite a racket inside of their cages, oh. fidgeting around. Oh, oh, uh, oh you, you seem <laughs> to maybe uh, uh, need a little bit of help with those birds. I, I would love to get a job at your place. Uh, she... At first, doesn't quite hear what you say because she's kind of gone into a bit of a frenzy trying to quiet down the birds. She's not physically I'll harmful to them, but she screams quite a bit <gasps> at the birds. I, I, she kind of sounds like animal, a bird. With my animal can and the bird communication, I'll calm them down. I'll try to calm them down, and then sure. she'll be super impressed and be like, "Ah, hi, are you?" All right, <laughs> sounds good. So, what do you say, Tiara, and what do you say and do to calm down the birds? I'll do the role after you kind of play it out. I say. Be calm, everyone. I'm trying to have a conversation here. Uh, and I'll, 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 I, want, I want to get a job here, so if you behave, I'll give you lots of lots of bread pieces. All right. Bread chunks, Anna. Gotcha. So because it's already rather loud, there's a ruckus going on, and the owner of the shop has kind of found herself in a frenzy. Um, it's going to be um, a little more difficult, so I'll go ahead and put it at, um, let's see, a seven difficulty ought to do the trick. Uh, we'll okay. Let's see. But I got six dice, yo, no problem. All right. Woohoo! One, ah, big two, success. three. Okay. Uh, you got three successes. So that's pretty good, actually. That's a very good <laughs> success. Um, so as soon as you begin speaking, while the birds squawk for a little while, uh, all of them kind of do that, you know, that bird head turn at the same time, look straight at you. And you, um, you tell them about the breadcrumbs, and they're most interested in the breadcrumbs, actually. Bread they crumbs, seem to, um, immediately focus their attention on you, and, um, they haven't completely quieted down, but now it's like, a just little mumbles of bird chattering and whatnot. Um, and the owner, who was initially in a frenzy and still kind of calming down, like, WHY, YOU LITTLE- Oh! Rat rascals Wow! You've done quite a good job! Yes, yes, I, um, I, I, I know a lot of verbs out there. I'm very good with them. I, it almost feels like they can understand me. Well, clearly. They never listen to me, but I've been looking for someone who is good with birds, shall we say, to look after, to look after the little ones and, that and the big be ones. Me, yeah. You notice around you there are birds of varying size and varying variety. There are some birds bigger than any birds you've ever seen before, and they're causing oh. quite they were causing quite a ruckus, but thankfully you were able to kind of calm them down. Oh, I'm quite interested in your birds. I would love to take care of them and, and study them and maybe uh, help you out in the shop with some things if you would accept my help, Ada. Well, sure. That that sounds fine, my dear. But you see, I have a very specific job in mind. She says as she kind of makes her way back behind the cash register. Oh, what is that? Well, you see, I can really take care of the birds just fine during the daytime. I, I, what... I don't think so, but never mind. 
Ex excuse didn't look me. Like it. Uh, um, sorry, what? Um. I didn't hear. I didn't hear you. Can you please? Ah, uh, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Keep, keep, keep on going. Well, all right then. She says as she kind of squints back through her little spectacles, <laughs> um, <laughs> and and pulls out what looks to be something like a job ad. Um, she says, I posted this around the town, but no one would really take the job because of the, um, the working hours. They're rather late. I need someone to take care of the night shift here. Oh, okay, well, I, I can, there's a night shift? I have a night shift in a burp shop, Ada. Indeed, right. we are open almost 24 hours because any time is a good time to buy a bird. Oh, I see. Okay, uh, um, I mean, my owl is a night owl. Um, I, I can, I can adjust uh, quite well to that, I think. I've been uh, forced to adjust to my owl's sleeping habits every now and then. I don't. Excellent. Well, then I guess you'll fit the job quite perfectly. Yes! Uh, your shift what is begins the salary? at. The what? The salary, Ada. Oh, you want money? Y yeah. Yes. Really? Uh, yes, I need it for my rent, please. That would be wonderful, Rana. Oh dear. You, my my landlord recommended you when, when I asked for a job, Ada, and so I. Your I was... landlord? Oh, Edith. Okay, okay. I think yeah, I you know, know this Edith. Thing. Ada. Mm -hmm. I I see. Oh, Edith is quite the penny pincher. All right, fine. Let's see. Hmm. How about this? If you do a successful job here for the next two days, I will go ahead and settle your debt with your landlord, and after that, we'll oh. go ahead and do, um, how about this? Um, hmm, let me think what is fair. Oh. Well, back in my day, I oh. believe the minimum wage was $2 an hour. How does that sound? Is, I, I get is that is that normal in this uh, country? Hmm. Well, my first job was about was about two two dollars. Well, I think maybe the times have changed. All right, three dollars an hour. I say uh, eight hours a, do uh, a dollar. <laughs> eight hours a dollar. Wait. <laughs> okay, sounds fantastic. So that means one dollar <laughs> per day. All right, you're hired. Sounds good. You begin immediately. Language problem. Let's go. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Eight dollars an hour, please, Ada. Mmm. You drive a hard bargain, little missy. Mm. All right. I think oh. you will see it, is, it will be worth it because did you see how well I can communicate with the birds? It's gonna be all fun. You can leave it all to me, Ada, and you don't have to worry and you can sleep sound and safe, Ada. All right. Well, I'll mm. go ahead and put my trust in you, little lady, for the time being. Okay? Yep. Thank you so much, Ada. I was about to get kicked out of my apartment. You're, you're saving my life, Ada. Yes, no no problem. I'm, I'm very sorry about them. Um, about Edith. In any case, if things don't really work out, you're certainly welcome to come here and sleep in one of the bird cages. <laughs> well, I guess uh, if you got a big one, I guess okay. They're well, very cozy. We'll have come to that. Uh, yes, sometimes uh, I like uh, to go sleep in them. I prefer my apartment, but yeah, let's let's see how it goes. Oh, <laughs> suit yourself then. All right. <laughs> Well, then, you start tonight at 10 p.m. Okay, I guess I should take a nap until then. Ada. All right, I'll see you then. I'll give you the keys, and then I'll be on my way after that. So don't be a minute late. Is there, is there uh, anything, like, specific? Do you have a plan of, 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 of tasks that I have to fulfill in the night so that I know what I need to do? I'll leave a little list of things for you to do, but thankfully there is a janitor, so... You'll mostly be man manning the cashier, uh, t tending oh. to the animals, and, and that kind okay. of thing. Okay, sounds good, Ada. Thank you very much. Of, of course, no, no problem. Now get out. Okay, okay. Thank you, Ada. Sure. Bye bye, Brooms. Bye bye. Okay, bye bye now. She says as she kind of opens up like a magazine. <laughs> and 
off you go. You're out of the shop. So what do you choose to do until it's time for your job? Mm. Mm, I think I, I guess I am going to go back and um, take a nap. But, uh, how, what time is it right now? Uh, right now, it's about um, 4 p.m. Hmm. I think I'll go to uh, uh, like t two hours at the park and then take a nap at home. All right, sounds good. So you mm -hmm. head on over to the park and um, today it seems as though there's actually no one there. Oh, I was wondering if the uh, that dude from yesterday was going to be there or not. Well, not from what you've seen, but so far, um, go ahead and do a, a perception check for me. Mm, wits and composure? Yes, that's three, three D10. Dice. Difficulty six. Here we go. All right, oh, that's oh. two successes and a reroll. All right, so you've got oh. two successes. Um, so basically, today is, um, it's not exactly a sunny day. It's like one of those bright but cloudy days outside. Um, the birds are a little active, but not quite as much as you'd like. Not much like yesterday. Unfortunately. Um, however, um, the most striking thing is that no one is really around at this point. Um, but that could be a good thing. No real nuisances to worry about. And that strange guy from the other day is also not looming in the distance. So that's nice. Okay. Well, so what do you I take a little bit of a uh, little bit of time with the birds until uh, those two hours are over. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I just I just take some photos. Snip snap snap snap. Okay. While you're taking those photos, um, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and have you do another perception check as um you're do you're taking these photos and then you realize that you feel something strange on your foot. <laughs> so let's go okay. ahead and roll perception, which is 3d10 for you and uh, difficulty is 6. What's that strange thing on your foot? Wow, that's uh, three successes. So you nice. immediately look down and notice that there's a big old snake that just slithered across your foot. Ooh, who likes snakes? <laughs> so Uhu attacks the snake, I think. Do you order Uhu to attack the snake? Or do you just I kind do. of... I do. All right, sounds good. Uh, so I think Uhu does it out of instinct and out of protecting me. <laughs> well, he definitely seems interested in the snake. Uhu definitely wants to go ahead and grab the snake, but it's kind of awaiting your orders. So would you like to... Uh... Oh, yeah, I'll tell, I'll tell who for my six dice is what to do. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Difficulty for this will be seven. One? All right, one success. So you tell, um, you tell Uhu to go ahead and attack! And, um... Attack? At your orders, Uhu tries to grab the snake and, um, ends up kind of dragging the snake away from you and into the grass. That's about the best, um, Uhu can do without getting bitten by this big old snake because it is a big snake. You've never seen a snake this big. Yeah. <gasps> but I wonder what kind of snake it is if it's poisonous. Ooh, ooh better not better not get I mean, don't, don't try to eat it or anything. At at your order, Uhu goes ahead and throws the snake into the tall grass and you hear a kind of slithering noise as it uh it goes away and leaves you alone. Yeah, that, that's the sound, oh. sound that it makes. And leaves Scary. you alone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Forest is full of those, or even the park can be full of snakes. You guys gotta be careful. Mm. Never saw one here before. All right, that was a bit of a scare, so I think I think I had enough of that. I'll go back home, perhaps. All right, sounds good. So you go ahead and, and go home. And take a nap. Home mm -hmm. and take a nap. Mm -hmm. All right, sounds before good. my shift dies. You are nice and well rested for your shift. In fact, because you used your time that way, so <laughs> that will be helpful. If you weren't yes. well rested, you might take a penalty. So that's a good call. <laughs> All right, I love naps. <laughs> Dude, yeah. Heck yeah! I so, can't wait to see my that alarm nice, goes nice off. I think. Mm -hmm. I wake. Wakey, wakey. Wakey, wakey, and now it's time to go to your brand new job. Oh. So, you head on over to the um. To the store. You remember how to get there this time, or do you? Go ahead do and roll wits and intelligence to remember. Ah. 
Four dice. All right, and since it's your second time, we'll go ahead and make the difficulty five, which is really isn't that bad. Oh. All right, so one, two. All right, so you got two successes to basically remember. Um, so mm -hmm. you pretty much arrive only one minute past the required time, which isn't that bad, at least not to you. <laughs> one minute. One minute late. Um, but as soon as that one minute is up, um, you see the familiar um, Wa-chan waiting at the door, and she's kind of got like, she's giving you the stink eye, my dude. I, I, I arrive never late. I arrive perfectly on time when I want to arrive. Mm. She kind of glares at you and says, Well, at least you managed to arrive. Just don't make a habit out of it. Yes, uh, it was uh, just... Uh, uh, yeah, yeah I, I, I had to mentally prepare. Uh, I, I brought, some, brought some snacks for the birds. Really? Yeah. Yeah, as soon as you beans. say that, uh, she kind of perks up a little bit at that and sees that you've gone the extra mile um, to take <laughs> care of the birds. So she seems happy about that and says, all right, well, I've left you a list of things to do. It's it's on the counter. So just make sure that you uh, you take a look at it and, um, and just do what I've written there. I'm going to go catch my sitcom. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Make sure that you lock up at about 2 a.m., okay? 2 a.m.? Oh, that's quite early. Okay, no problem. All right. It's just a four-hour shift for this first time. Okay, Ada. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you very much for giving me this this this, this chance. Yep. She just walks away. <laughs> so, what do you choose to do, Tiara? I look at the list what I have to do. All right. Uh, go ahead and roll a perception check, which is going to be 3d10. Okay. All right, let's see what you got. Okay, so it looks like um, two successes because difficulty mm -hmm. for perception checks is six right now. So with two successes, um, you're able to basically read the old lady's handwriting, but you know, it's kind of bad. Um, however, you are able to read what is written there. Um, there are only three things, actually. Oh. Um. <laughs> the first one just says feed him. Okay, easy. The, the second thing says pet him. Easy. <laughs> the last thing says someone wants a bird, take their money, give them a bird. That sounds very manageable. Yeah. You get the All feeling right. that she was she was kind of trying to um to make it as, as clear as possible, but you know, old, 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 old ladies, you know, it, it's, it's all right. It's natural that kind of things, things slip away over time and you can't explain things perfect, but thankfully it got transmitted. So it's no problem. All right. Then I'll start doing my job. I start feeding and petting them and wait all for right. customers. Sounds good. So in and order I'll to do, let Uhu sit down at the counter. Oh, cute. That's so adorable. Mm -hmm. All right, so you go ahead and let Uhu sit at the counter. Um, now, go ahead and, let's see, in order to do your job effectively at the shop, uh, we're gonna have you roll an Animal Ken uh, roll again, the one that we usually have been doing, the 6d10. Six, haha. <laughs> However, since these are birds that you don't really know very well, we're gonna make the difficulty seven. All right. Here we go. Wow. Okay, and that's another reroll. Okay, so you've got one, two, three, four successes. Ha. That is an exceptional success. They so, love me. The birds do actually tend to take a very keen liking to you, even the bigger, more brutish ones that seem like they might be a little tsundere, you know, like tsundere Ooh. birds and shit. Yeah, they like you too. You're kind of surprised. It's kind of dope. Mm. Thinking about even buying one. Yeah, well, they seem to like you very much. There's there's a very big uh, black raven um, oh. that seems to take a liking to you. And then um, there are also some little bluebirds in a cage uh, that chirp very excitedly as you feed them. They seem to like you Is as there well. an eagle? Do we have an eagle? Would you like to roll perception to find an eagle? 
I will find an eagle and a chicken, please. All right, gotcha. We'll do two <laughs> rolls. Then. Bird. <laughs> All right, first we'll roll to find eagle. Well, no, that's not it's dash roll three d ten. First, the eagle, and difficulty is six. Here we go. You look around for an eagle, and oh, oh. Okay, so that's two successes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> two successes. Um, and I'm not gonna let the ones cancel out anything, of course, naturally. So you look around and um, it takes you a little bit because, you know, eagles are probably kind of rare, um, but you do actually find in the way back of the shop, <laughs> there is a small eagle. A oh, baby eagle. A yeah, baby <gasps> eagle. Oh, cute. Oh, yeah. I wonder what it's doing all there in the back. So it seems to be a little bit sad. Definitely a bit lonely is what you can discern. That's the feeling that you get. Kind of wanting to make friends, but you get the feeling that it might be in the back for a specific reason. And if you recall bird law, because you probably know a little bit about bird law. Um, totally. You get the feeling that there's a chance that this particular eagle isn't really allowed in allowed to be kept at a pet store in this country mm -hmm, seems a little mm -hmm. suspicious. So, I am going to buy it with my first salary once that comes in and then set it free. I have decided. Tiana has decided upon that, Ada. It's a Tiana because promise. I, I would also love to just set it free and then say like, oops, and hope the, the lady doesn't notice, but... I don't want to get in trouble on my first day at work, Ada. Mm. Right. Totally understandable. Do you interact so, with this bird so, at all? I will interact. I will tell it. I will tell the bird that I will set it free as soon as I get my first salary. Six. Six dice, please. Okay. Yeah. Moshi mosh burp chan. The, the difficulty for this is going to be... Well, let's just make it six. One, two, three. Okay. So the bird was looking rather downcast and sad and lonely, lifts up its little head, looks at you, squints its eyes, seems to fully comprehend what you're saying, pulls back its head, and screams. <laughs> screams? <laughs> it's like a good scream, it's like a happiness scream, but the, the screech is enough to kind of all the birds look. And if it wasn't a success, they might kind of freak out, but they, they're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> this is a loud Ooh, one, you realize. It's Real loud screaming bird. To being set free. Yeah. Free like a bird. Scream! <laughs> that, kind of, that kind of thing. It's I had to back all up. Gonna it's all gonna be good. It's all gonna be okay. Yeah. You can't believe such a big sound comes out of such a little eagle, but there you go. It's a Ooh. promise. You get the feeling that this eagle has screamed at you uh, to forge a promise that cannot be broken. <laughs> I scream back. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sounds good. Now, would you like to do anything else? I'm just gonna take care of the tasks as per right. usual. Sounds good. Did you want to look for a chicken? I guess so. We can All check, right. but uh, probably not gonna be a chicken here, huh? <laughs> All right. Well, let's find out. out. Curiosity. Yeah, that is quite curious. All right. Let's see. Two. Okay. Uh, there are no chickens here. Oh, okay. interesting. <laughs> Yeah, no chickens. Maybe, maybe she should get one. <laughs> I know, right? Especially if you have an, an illegal eagle. Um, yeah. And no chickens. She should have all kinds of birds here. Oh, yeah. well. <laughs> all right. So you kind of do your tasks, right? Mm -hmm. Um. Now go ahead and roll perception because it gets to be about midnight and um, you hear an odd noise. Oh, rolling perception, wits, and composure. All right. Mm, free. It's just a noise, so we're gonna make the difficulty seven. All right, so you get one success. Um, you hear something that sounds like a door opening, the back door, and then kind of a crashing sound, and then you hear someone go, whoa, oops. <laughs> this, is a, this is a drunk guard. I'll, I'll go check, I go check. <laughs> All right, you go towards the source of the sound, and I'm gonna roll another perception check for you. And, oh, um, Jen. And it's going to be difficulty six. All right, so one success. Um, there seems to be a lad, um, a bit of a striking lad, um, who is kind of tripped over the mop bucket in the back. Um, 
seems to be what people might consider a stereotypically handsome dude, but weirdly oh. enough, dressed in like a janitor outfit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Whoa, sorry about that. <laughs> uh, made quite a mess okay. here. <laughs> I, I... Hello, nice, nice to meet you. I'm Tiada. I'm the new, 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 new girl in the shop. Whoa, <laughs> your name is Tiara. Isn't that like, isn't that like a? Oh, oh, hold on. I got it. It's on the tip of my tongue. Um, a word for like a crown or something. Are you a princess? Ah, uh, well, I come from a different country, and my family was uh, a bit, a bit more on the wealthy side. But I, I'm not a princess. No, no, Ara. Oh, well, I was thinking you're a princess. <laughs> It's uh, a common name uh, in my country. Mm. Huh. 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 So huh. what do you do here? He raises his eyebrows and is like, "I, I was, I was, just, I was gonna, I was gonna say that like you, you look like a princess because you're real cute." I'm just gonna, sorry, excuse me. <laughs> Hold on, I've lost my manners. I've lost my manners. You see, I, I actually used him. to be a prince. Believe it or not. Uh huh. Okay. Uh... Do you believe I used to be a prince? Come on, look no. at me. No, Ara. Huh? Huh? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to work. Uh, wait, wait, yeah, wait, nice hold on. Nice meeting you. No, I just wanted to introduce. I wanted to introduce myself. Sorry. Mm. Ugh. Okay, uh, go ahead, Ara. I'm the janitor here. My name is Victor. Most people call me Vic. Um, I work the night shift doing like janitor stuff and I like to clean a lot as you can see He kind of spreads out his arms and you can look around and see he's gesturing to the whole shop But the shop is dirty as fuck. So I mean clearly he's not doing his job Yeah, you're not really doing your job. are you, Vic? <laughs> also, weren't you late? What, what were you doing? It's uh, pa two hours past midnight? I mean, what were you doing, Ara? Listen, Prince has got duties, man. I tell you what there's well, all kinds of stuff. Is your duty Princess. to be on time, huh? Maybe I should tell no. our, uh, our uh, the person who uh, gives us this job. Listen, listen. There's only, please believe me. There, there's only so much that I can do in a certain pe period of time. It's, it's hard to explain my situation. Just look, listen. It's kind of hot in here. He starts like fanning himself and is like, "Can we turn down the lights a little bit?" Just like a little, I'm not, this isn't me no. trying to hit on you. This isn't me trying no, to hit on you. Hell? I'm just, listen, no, it's just, it's really hot. And you can see he's visibly like kind of sweating a little bit. Uh, maybe you should go back doing your job. Otherwise I'm going to tell the boss. No, please don't tell the boss leader. I really need this job, man. All right, look, ha, I'm just going to go mop the floor. You can keep doing your thing. Ha, have a nice day. Mm -hmm, the, the shop better be squeaky clean at after our shift. You, you you got it. Yeah, sure thing. Um, okay. There seems to be... It seems like his focus has kind of shifted onto something else entirely. Um, but you can't quite tell what it is. Would you like oh. to try and perceive? I, I guess so. Because he keeps looking so. over your shoulder. It's like a My weird shoulder. feeling. My shoulder! Yeah. Alright, alright. I'll see the check. I don't... I want to know what the hell his problem is. Why is he not focusing on his job when I'm gotcha. doing it? All right. Also, um, you can roll a perception check anytime that you want. So basically, when you want to do something like a perception, just say, I want to roll a perception check. All right. Okay. Here we go. Difficult six. All right. With your one success, you can tell that he's looking at your owl. Mm-hmm. You got a problem with my owl, Lara? Huh? Oh, no, no, no. Your your owl is very beautiful, madame. Uh, I just wanted to say that's a very, very lovely owl, and you're very lucky to have such a beautiful owl. <laughs> mm hmm Just letting you know that owls are much smarter than humans, Ara, and if you're doing some sus suspicious stuff there, then my owl will be the first one to find out, Ara. I'm not suspicious. You're suspicious. The way that you, the way that you say Ara is real suspicious. <laughs> well, excuse me, that's because I'm from another country. What's your problem, huh? You have a problem with foreigners? No, I wasn't Anna. trying to... No, listen, oh, I'm okay, I'm gonna mop the, the floor. Wow, no, please. You're rude, Anna. I'm gonna mop the floor. I'm gonna go do yeah. it now. Yeah, do it, Anna. All right, sorry. Sayonara. Be? <laughs> he takes the mop and starts mopping the floor. 
but there's no water in the bucket, so you just kind of throw in the mop around. Are you kidding me? I'm not here to to supervise <laughs> your job. This is ridiculous. Why is it? <gasps> okay, I'm ta I'm I am uh, taking because I am good at taking pictures. I'm taking a picture of him doing his job really bad. All right, sounds good. You take a picture of him doing his job really badly. He starts playing air guitar on the mop and like puts in his headphones and starts rocking out. Oh my god! Yeah, that I'm just gonna, just gonna take the picture and start ignoring him, and then I I know what I'll do once the lady is back, the boss. All right, you take a picture of him, um, and once you take a picture. When you look at the picture, there's like something weird about him. Okay, I do he a perception looks, check. He just looks <laughs> okay, there we go, there we go. Roll 3d10 to perceive the picture. Difficulty six. All right, with two successes, you notice that in the picture, like for whatever reason, um, he seems to be like extremely like, almost, you want to say sickly looking, but just like, kind of, kind of pale and weird looking. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Just like, just very strange. Just not like a person should look, but it's not something that really bothers <gasps> you too much. Well, only in the picture. I go, I, I chat, I look up from my phone and I look at him. Ah. And I compare those two things, the picture and him. Yeah. Do I do a check for that? The perception check? Sure. Alright, let's see what she got. Oh. Difficulty six, so one success. Um, there's only a minor difference. You think that it could just be the shitty lighting of the shop, after all. Oh, I started getting... I started getting... Suspicious because... He wanted also to... To have me turn down the lights and his sweating. And yeah. I I ask my owl because owls are smarter than us. Mm -hmm. If owl Chan Uhu notices anything weird about him, if 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 she knows if he knows something. All right, so we'll go ahead and roll sixty ten, okay? Mm -hmm. Difficulty seven. Let's see. That's one success. All right, so with only one success, Uhu just kind of tilts their head and like lets out just a tiny little chirp noise. And uh, from, what you, from what you can discern, um, there's really nothing that Uhu can tell personally. <laughs> just seems like a okay. stupid guy. Okay, uh, well, um, I do have my trust issues, so for the rest of my shift, I try to just not talk to him and, and stay away from him as much as possible. Gotcha. From what Uhu is telling you, I think that all that Uhu can perceive is like, oh, this dude is a northerner. For whatever a reason. Northerner. Yeah, they really oh, like the cold oh, oh. up there. You know? Uh-huh. So like, I don't know, they're used to they're used to like some cold shit. And this place is pretty hot, to be honest, and like the lights don't make it any better. You know, it's bright. It's bright and sweaty, even though it's late at night. Mm, so. Okay. Okay, I, I guess I don't think that much of it, but it's still sus. I'll All be right. careful. Sounds good. So the rest of the night goes pretty normally. I mean, the dude doesn't bother you or anything, but it's just doing all kinds of stupid shit. Like, tries talking to the birds and starting conversations with them, but is not doing it right. All right, I think I'm gonna go get him fired then. <laughs> <laughs> all right, <laughs> sounds good. Okay. Now, um, your shift is over. It's about 2 a.m. and it's time to close Yay! up shop and not a single customer has come in. But first shift completed, success! All right, nice Yay! job. Very good. Does, does, the, does the boss come to, to pick up on my shift or there's, there's, there's just no one coming? Um, so it would, it would appear that you're supposed to lock up and then the next oh, yeah. day, you will surely meet the uh, the owner again, kind of thing. Okay, locking up. Saying goodbye to the burbs. All right, sounds good. And with that, um, you kind of just head home after that. And uh, 
I mean, you got to walk home, so it's like uh, kind of um, it's really late. Might be a little dangerous, mm. but you go ahead and make oh, your way boy. through the alleyway. Okay. Well, sun is sun is coming up slowly, slowly. Yeah. Oh, it's two a.m. Uh, eh? Oh, two a.m. Did I say four a.m.? I feel like it was four a.m. <laughs> I think you're heading home at about 2, 2.30 a.m. Oh, okay. All right. Now, as you head home, however, um, it seems just kind of like, um, I don't know, it's a, it's a bit of a late, spooky night. Doesn't really feel very safe. Oh. Boy, hubby. Yeah. No problem. I do have, by the way, I do have a danger sense and direction sense. Oh, okay, cool. Sounds good. So you'll be able to kind of pick up when there's something mm -hmm. dangerous going on. Um, mm -hmm. All right. So you go ahead and, and take the route home uh, that you've kind of figured out for yourself. But, um, you know, nothing is really... I do a perception really... check on the way. All right. Sounds good. Because it's dark, difficulty is seven. Oh, wow. Three oh. eights. Very nice. Very nice. All right. So you kind of make your way um, through the alleyway and um, you don't necessarily notice anything too strange, at least not at first. Walking through the alleyway, it's very clear that this is rather late at night and no one's around. So naturally, um, there's a bit of an eerie feeling in the air, a bit of tension. That's always how mm. it feels at this time of night. Mm. But um, occasionally you'll hear like a, a rustling noise from your right, your left. Probably just a mouse, right? Something mm, like that. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Certainly, it's it's fine. Surely. Well, I got I got I got Uhu with me, so I'll be fine. Right. You'll be protected. I confidently certainly. walk. Continue walking. All right. Sounds good. Out of the corner of your eye, you feel like you you spot a strange shape. A figure, perhaps. But when you turn your head, it's gone. Um. Okay. Suddenly, um. you feel as though you might not be the only one here anymore. I, uh. I ask uh, around and say, hello? Hello, anyone here? No response. Ada? Uh. Um. I, uh, I, I ask Uhu if Uhu can sense something. All right. Six passes. Here we go. Difficulty seven. All right, that's one, two, three successes. Um, so Uhu turns their head um, in a direction that you hadn't anticipated um, and screeches as though ah! they found something. But when you look in that direction, there's no, there's nothing immediately in front of you. I... Seems like Uhu is screaming at nothing. I, I, I say, uh, I, I, I run away. I run, I start running towards my apartment. All right, you begin running, and uh, to run, I need you to roll an athletics and dexterity check. Uh, dexterity two, athletics two, four dice this. Right, four, and it's rather dark, so we're gonna have that be seven, difficulty seven. All right, so you've got two successes. Mm. All right. Okay. So you run and run and run, and it almost seems as though the alleyway is never ending. Um, along the way, you step on some trash, um, and then you realize that um, once you've come to kind of a dead end and you're supposed to turn, you've stepped on something, something strange, something, something squishy. <laughs> Frog? <laughs> Frog? I, I do a this, 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 percept, decept, de, uh, perception a check. check. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, seven is the difficulty. All right, that's pretty good. Mm. Two successes, and then... Three successes. 
You look down, and just in time, as soon as you've stepped on it, you realize that you've stepped on a snake. Again? Again? It is now hissing and slithering away. Again, yes. Another snake? Mm-hmm. Uh, I will continue running, I guess? All right. You continue running home, and eventually you do make it home, just in time for it to be about, well, let's say, 2.45 or so, and... It appears that your neighborhood is fine, nothing suspicious about it, but um, that lurking presence, it still feels like it's around you somehow. It's hard this to describe. Scary. Oh, well, well, okay. I, uh, I make sure to uh, uh, lock the door and everything properly. And uh, I try to um, calm down. All right. Sounds good. Do you go to sleep after this, or what do you choose to do once you've entered your home? Um, I'm still uh, quite awake, so I, uh, I write in my diary. Ah. All right. Hmm. You write about the events of the day? Also about the sus things that just happened outside? Mm -hmm. Good to keep a record. And with that, um, it's gotten to be about 3 a.m., and... um. For whatever reason, even though you're safe in your home and whatnot, you've locked all the doors, you can't help but feel like you're in some kind of danger. <laughs> well, how do I have a danger sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Indeed. Uh. But it's hard to tell really what you should do about it. You just don't feel well. Well, well I didn't eat dinner yet, so I'm gonna start cooking some bean soup. All right, sounds good. Even as you just, just continue not going your to sleep. cooking, <laughs> even as you continue your cooking, um, your birds seem a little tense, more tense than usual, at least. No one's making any kind of excited noise. No one is rushing over to get dinner. Everyone's a little on edge right now. I ask, what's wrong? If my if my animal can. All right. Six. Difficulty seven. What is right. wrong, Anna? Two successes. Um, basically, the vibe that you're getting from your birds is that they are kind of maybe reflecting your emotions, or mm. they could be sensing the same danger that you are. It's kind of hard to tell which, to be honest. Um, but they also aren't used to you coming home this late at night, so mm. it could just be something uh, different for them. Yeah. I guess so. Um, well, I eat my bean soup. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Your birds do not actually join you for the meal, unfortunately. They all just kind of seem on edge. Ah, uh, well, I'll, I'll stay on the loot as well. All right. No problem. Sounds good. It gets to be about 5 a.m. or so, and it seems like the light is beginning to kind of come through the window, the light of day. Oh, thank God. But after your first day at the job, you're so exhausted. You kind of feel like maybe the danger has left you. Perhaps. Okay. It's hard oh. to tell for sure. It could just be the sleepiness setting in, but at this point, you're going to need to make a roll if you want to stay awake. I am going to go to sleep, but... I think, uh, Uhu, it still wants to stay awake. All right, sounds Protect good. Protect Mama, because Uhu is still a bit worried about Mama. Okay. So you go ahead and you tell you tell your owl to kind of stay on the alert for you. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you drift off into a very nice and relaxing sleep. Oh, that you absolutely okay. deserve. Because, I, I mean... Yeah, the exhaustion has kind of made it so that you... It made it much easier for you to go to sleep. Mm -hmm. so you close your eyes, and you begin to kind of dream. Oh. Dream, and dream. In your dream, would you like to roll perception? Yes. 
because you are in a dream after all, which is technically a whole new scene. Difficulty is eight because this is a dream. One. Okay. So in the dream, you are about, let's say, perhaps 15 years old. Ooh, young Adana. Yes, 15 years old, and it's, a, it's an old, old memory. Oh. Let's see if I can change the color. It's almost as though the memory itself has been clouded in some kind of uh, sepia tone, um, filtered in gold. Uh, from times where, um, times where things were much simpler, perhaps. Mm. Yeah, simpler times. Being a child, being young, still learning so many things, and and you recall that, um, at least at this time, this must be some kind of memory, from what you can tell. Um, because the memory is still a little foggy and the dream is still a bit foggy, you can't tell exact people within your dream. Um, but you realize that you're holding some kind of gun, maybe like a small oh. one, not like a really intense big gun, but something that you might have been training with. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And at the same time, in the other hand, you're holding your golden pendant. Oh. And... At the same time, in that hand, someone is giving you the pendant. Is it? Is you it, realize. Is it my you realize that it's that memory from the photo. And while you can't determine an exact face, you hear a voice. A voice that says to you, Tiara, this is very important. This pendant is very special. And you may not know why for a very long time. But it's important that you always hold on to it. And never let anyone take it away from you. Not even your owl. Understand? Okay, okay. I understand. Good. Because someday, you'll realize why it's so important. No. Oh. I promise. Oh. And at that time, oh. I'll join you again. Okay? I'll keep it safe, Anna. Well, don't worry. I'll still be around for a long time. I'm not going anywhere. Trust me. Oh. And someday, yeah. I'll teach you how to use it. Okay? <gasps> the pendant! Okay. But you must hold on to it. I'll hold on. I'm not gonna give it to anyone, Nara. And as soon as you say that, the dream begins to kind of break up a little bit it begins to kind of almost fall apart in some kind of strange way. No. Oh. Almost as though oh. the pieces are beginning to crack. Oh. Pieces of the dream. Uh, I don't want to wake up. But, uh, it is a very happy dream, but unfortunately oh. all dreams have to end. And as the pieces begin to fall away, uh, you hear something that sounds... Um, akin to some kind of screaming noise from one of your birds. Uh, hey, go, go, go. I wake up immediately and do a perception check. All right. You wake up and do a perception check. Because you've just have woken up. Sense. You do have a danger sense and it is going off right now. A hundred percent. Because you just woke up, difficulty is going to be seven. All right, so you got two successes. All right, with these two successes, uh, you wake up and realize that your birds are in a big frenzy. Uh, they're it. screeching and running into each other, um, almost as though there's been some kind of scuffle. But when you get to the door, it doesn't seem like it's been broken into or anything like that. Okay. It all appears to I... be fine, for the most part, except... I look... Oh. Except there is something missing. Your bird. <gasps> my pen is... Oh, okay. My bird... Wait. Ooh! Your bird, Uhu, is gone. No, no, no. That's impossible. No. And okay, not no, no. only your bird, your pendant is also missing. No, what the fuck? You can't do that to me! I can't. <laughs> no! No, 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 yeah. no, no, no! No, 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 no! 
You were having such a restful sleep. You stayed up so very late. You had such an amazing sleep. You slept right through whatever may have happened. I panic. You panic. Roll to panic. Roll panicking. Um, let's just say that you panic real hardcore and it's bad. Um, you feel all of your limbs get very hot. And there are prickles in your hands as though there's something that you want to do, but you can't. And um, you realize at this moment, you have no idea where either of those things could be. At all. No, no, no. Uh, well, there's still some other birds in my apartment, right? Mm-hmm. Well, I'll, I will ask them if they if they saw where Uhu went or who took them or what, 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 what? All right, sounds good. Roll 60-10, difficulty is seven. All right, let's see, one success. Two, two success. Hmm? Oh, you're right, two successes, three successes, okay. So with three successes, yeah. your birds, um, you can't get exact wording out of them, of course, but um, it seems to indicate that they are as shocked as you are. Uh, they didn't really see a person. All yeah. that you know is that um, there was no breaking and entering here. In fact, all of the windows are closed as well. It's almost as though your owl and your pendant just completely vanished into thin air. What? Okay. Uh, eh? well, but um, well. your birds actually kind of seem as though they want to uh, look as well. Okay, I sent them looking. All right. You open the window and your scatter. birds fly out. They scatter. scatter. The birds scatter and go to every corner of the city to look for your owl. And for my pendant. And for your pendant. Well, the pendant is sparkly and, 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 and uh, gold, I guess. So they're probably gonna... They should find it. They should find it. Yes. Most definitely. You tell, you tell I, them. I uh, also uh, ran outside to try to find Uhu and I... I, uh, I, uh, yell for Uhu. Uhu! Uhu! Where are you, Ada? All right. You yell and scream to try and find your owl. Um, but all that you get is your, your landlord comes out and yells at you. Hey! Keep it down! Yeah, it's 3 p.m. I'm trying to sleep. I leave the apartment and run around in the, uh, in the city. All right. To search for your owl, it's going to be a wits and investigation check. Carry. <laughs> One dice. Oh, but it's unskilled, so it's going to be, um, this is a really important role. If you don't get a success on this, uh, then it's almost, it's, it's a really bad, it's a really bad thing. You will fail, um, and it won't be good. If you get a one, you're in big trouble. So we can go ahead and chance it. Come on, come on! All right, and the difficulty for this one is going to be, um, let's see, you know the city decently well, and you have some direction sense. Let's just go ahead and make it a six, difficulty six. Oh, no. Oh, uh, you find nothing. You're rigged! Rigged game! <laughs> the game is rigged. You scour the whole city, and even your birds seem to be having a difficult time, but you can find... You can find nothing, unfortunately, and it doesn't seem like any of the locals have seen your bird either. They just seem confused. It's almost as though Uhu has vanished without a trace. No, I, I ran to the, to the bird shop. All right. You run to the bird shop and by the time that your investigation is done, it's about uh, 10 p.m. or so when your shift usually begins. Eh? Oh, well then it's good that I go there. <laughs> <laughs> You can't forget the you can't forget the part-time job, man. We gotta pay Edith. <laughs> so you arrive at the shop, um, and you're kind of you you know in a frenzy and whatnot, looking for your owl, and the the old lady kind of appears out front of the shop and says, "Oh, good, you're on time. Here are the keys. Have a good shift." Wait, wait, wait! I tell her to wait. Hmm. I ask her about the janitor's history, how long he's been here, and 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 if she's uh, seen him recently, and what mm -hmm. she knows about him. Oh, th what was his Rick? Dick? Rick. I can't remember. Rick. Th th that's that's the one. 
Yes. Um, that's a ve very mysterious, actually. Only hired about mm, two days ago, perhaps. Um, does a fantastic <laughs> job cleaning, I will no, say. No, he does not. I mean, I have, I show her the photos, first of all. First things first. Oh, and she looks at the photos. Oh, is he, ha ha ha, is he playing the mop like it's an air guitar? Yeah, where he was definitely not cleaning the shop well, Ara, and also he was uh, trying to flirt with me, Ara, and he was also insulting me because I'm foreign, Ara. Ha ha ha, reminds me of me in my youth. I mean, well, not that last part. The, the last part is very bad, and I will be mm. having a chat with him, but, but for now, just try to play nice while I try also, and he, think of how to deal with this. He came late to his shift, Ara. Just want to let you know, he's also not here now, is he? Oh, I suppose not. I guess I'll have to give him a call. Anyway, I'm late for my soap opera, so I'm going to go ahead and give you the keys, and I'll figure out a way to deal with this, okay? Now have a good shift. Okay, bye, bye. All right. Uh, I, uh, well, I guess my bird is also not at the bird shop, huh? Um, so, are you talking about Uhu? Yeah. Unfortunately, Uhu is not in the shop, and it appears that the other birds have no idea what's going on, so they can't really help you out, unfortunately. But, um, do you proceed along with work? No. No! No! I can't! Uh, I, I asked I ask the, the eagle who found a liking in me mm -hmm. if he can help me out. I'll, I'll set him free for this once. Uh, All right. And, and I, I tell him, it's about my bird. It's about my own bird. I need his help. Well, please. All right. Sounds good. We'll go ahead and do an animal can check. And difficulty is going to be seven. All right. You only got one success here, but um, <laughs> it's enough to kind of almost convince the eagle. The eagle kind of screams at you a little bit, kind of in protest, like, really? Do I have to help? I mean, it's cool. I'll be set free and whatever, but like, it's kind of a pain in the ass kind of thing. Plus, eagle doesn't completely trust you yet, even though you guys have a deal. Hmm. So. So he doesn't go? Well, do you let the eagle out of the cage? Hmm. Yeah, but I put a little tag on his footsie. All right, sounds good. You put a little tag on the foot of the little eagle, um, and the eagle hops out of the cage and kind of, just kind of does that little bird hop, you know, on top of the um. cash register. Tilts their head at you. Squawks a little bit. Doesn't really do anything. I ask him again to do the thing. <laughs> All right. We can do another roll, because it's going to need a little <laughs> convincing, and it might take a bit of time. All right. Seven difficulty. All right. You've got three, oh, five, four. Four dice. Uh, four successes. Okay. Excellent. Okay, let's go. All right. So you managed to instruct the eagle who's finally listening to you. You've managed to get it through to the eagle. This is something important. You really need to go find your owl. Um, mm -hmm. However, after this, um, the eagle kind of uh, begins to take flight and uh, speed through the door. But at this exact time, at this moment, it's about <gasps> 11 p.m., the eagle immediately crashes into someone walking through the back door. Fucking janitor. Oh it? wow! Oh man, that's a that's a that's a really strong bird. I say, have you seen my owl or not? Ada. The the janitor the janitor kind of like is all like very, very disgruntled at this point in time and actually isn't really fully wearing the janitor outfit. Looks like he just got up out of bed like literally two seconds ago to put on the outfit. Looks very disgruntled. He's like, huh? Wait, what? <laughs> An owl? <laughs> what What do you mean? I, I don't... Oh, you mean the one from yesterday? Acting a little bit suspicious. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my bird from yesterday that you kept on looking at the whole time is, um, is for some reason, gone. Oh, gee, I wouldn't know anything about the very pretty bird. Wow, what a shame. <laughs> now, Ciara. Oh, I do a perception check. 
Actually, what's gonna to... what's gonna happen uh, here is a uh, it's gonna be a contested roll. So contested. basically, basically, he's going to roll to lie to you, and you're going to roll to perceive his lie. Oh. Okay. So, what I need you to roll is I need you to roll. Um, let's see. Let's do let's do intelligence at this point. Intelligence and subterfuge. What? Oh, what is that? Uh, that one. Okay, three dice. All right, that's three. Um, let's see, intelligence. Oh, but your subterfuge is zero dots, so that's going to be minus one unskilled. So that's two dice. Okay. All right. Now this guy is pretty easy to see through, so I'm going to go ahead and make the difficulty be six. Now, first, this is Ciara's rule. Okay. All right, you got one success. Now, this is Victor's rule. Does he get the same dices? Uh, no. He's got a different okay. character sheet. Oh. And let's see. For him, difficulty is probably going to be... Seven. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Looks good to me. <laughs> so, at this point, um, while Victor is trying to lie to you... Completely. You're asking these questions about about Uhu and whatnot. Um, and and maybe even find a feather on his shirt. <laughs> well, interestingly enough, it doesn't seem as though he is the one that took your owl, but he definitely knows something because as he's trying to explain himself, he gives you this long-winded explanation. I just thought your bird was was real beautiful, and l listen, it's mm. it's got nothing to do with me. It's just you know, th there are some people that. And he realizes that he's kind of... People? What well, people? I, don't... Gah, I mean... <laughs> listen. He, he says, gah. <laughs> That's you. Gah. <laughs> he says, gah. I mean, I just think there are some people who would really want that bird. I didn't touch the bird. Well, I... I, I didn't I didn't touch the bird. I didn't do anything. I just watched as things happened. Listen. I, I just watch. I don't really do... I'm really good at watching things. Uh, kind of like an owl. <laughs> it's a skill that I kind of share with the owls is that I watch things when they happen sometimes. I can't help myself when I just kind of watch. Apparently, the owl... That owl is kind of special. Uh, I don't know. I it's real smart him. bird. I interrupt him. <laughs> push him against the wall. <laughs> and then really close... Get really close with my face and I'm like, You uh, tell me! What the hell you did to my bird now, Ara? Or are you gonna get into, into a lot of trouble? Why do you say Ara all the time? It's freaking me out, man! Tell me what the <gasps> fuck my bird is! Ah! Okay, okay, listen, 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 listen! I'm listening! I've been listening the whole time and the only things you say is shit-talking! Uh, okay, fine. Fine. Mm -hmm. I'll tell, tell you me. what I know. I'll tell you what I know. Yeah, tell okay. me right now. So, the bird's been captured, okay? I watched it happen mm. with my own eyes, all right? Look. The fuck? I was walking home. I was walking home after the shift, just like you. And I followed you. Uh -huh, so that was you. Yeah, but it was... It's just because I got the feeling something something was weird, okay? Listen, I can tell when things You're are weird. You're weird, Ada. I'm not weird. You're the weird one. You're the one that says Ada at the end of all of your sentences. You're the one who's sweating while you're looking at me. It's only because the lights are really bright right now, okay? Listen, What's I can't help it. What's your problem with the lights, huh? Tell me about that. No, they're just hot, man. All right, so proceed. Where's, uh, where's my bird? <sighs> There's a house... It's mm -hmm. an abandoned house. Mm -hmm. It's not just your bird, though. <gasps> there are a lot of owls. The dumbass who is looking for your bird can't tell between owls, so they took a bunch of owls. There are a whole lot of them over there. I really hope you know what your bird looks like, because you're going to have a tough time finding that owl. And you are going to bring me there right now. Huh? Wait, me? Huh? Yeah, you, you, I'm gonna follow you the way you follow me. I don't wanna go in me. that house, they ain't my friends. No, you are. You saw it and you didn't stop it while my bird was being captured. It is somewhat of your fault as well. So, Still, let's go. I, 
And it wasn't supposed to happen like this! Uh, I'm just a bystander, I promise. I'm just doing janitor stuff, trying to make... Just trying to make a living, man. You're Sounds trying like to make a living, no, too, No one right? is just a bystander, Ada. You're uh. gonna go with me now. I, I take his hand. His, <gasps> his wrist. A girl touching my hand? His Whoa. wrist. A girl touching my wrist? Wow. I take it. I, I grab it really tightly so that it hurts. Ooh. Oh, great. The more it hurts, the better it is. I slap his face, Anna. Wow, thank you. I'm, I'm taking the key from the shop. And I slice... S s s sl sl slice his <laughs> cheek. Ah! <laughs> 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 so you shut the fuck up now and bring me to my bird stop sapping so such a fucking idiot, Ara. <laughs> you you can't really tell if like the slicing his cheek really made him upset or not. He is a little shocked, but he's like, right away, ma'am. You okay, got it. You go. got it, madame. All right, I'll lead you there. All right. Finally. All right. So you are led to an old house. Yeah. There it is. Now, let's go ahead and roll a perception check for this brand new area. <laughs> okay. Three? Yes. And it's dark, so it'll be seven difficulty. Uh, oh, shit. It's really fucking dark. You can well, tell the house is him, old. I let him do the perception check. <laughs> you tell him to do a perception check? I tell him to do a perception check, I know. He says, only if you slap me again. I punch him with my, <laughs> with my fist instead. All right. To punch him with your fist, go ahead and, and roll your strength plus brawl. Uh, strength three, brawl, no. So two dice. All right. It's going to be two dice. Here we go. All right. Difficulty? Uh, difficulty is going to be six. Uh, you kind of, you, you punch him a little bit. He's like, ow? Question mark? <laughs> yeah, do a fucking perception check now, Ada. You brought us into this shit. Now you do. You check around. Ugh, fine. I'll do a fucking perception. He says I'll do the freaking perception check. <laughs> Whatever the fuck that is. All right. Now, for some reason, difficulty for him is only going to be six. Interesting, sus. All right. With two successes. Indeed, very um, successful. I don't know. It's an old ass house. Looks like it isn't being lived in, except there are like two lights on right now. Wait, no, three, three fucking lights. It looks like it's candlelight though. Probably not like electric. That place definitely doesn't have water or electric system in there. Looks like it's someone's hideout. It's definitely someone's hideout. And you know the person that lives in there, don't you, Lara? Nah, I don't know him. I don't associate him, but we're we're kind of the same in a way. It's hard to How? explain. How are they? Uh, I just... I know I'm from business that I do. Like I said, I'm like a prince and whatever. You don't, you won't freaking believe me. Uh-huh. Okay. Princes have to know a lot of shit. Well, I, um, I'll, I'll uh, stay about 20 meters away from the house and you go knock on the door, please, and say you want my bird. Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, do I have to? You have to, I'm waiting, Ara. As a prince, you, you do have some you honor, do? don't you? Once you say that, he kind of perks up a little bit and is like, well, yeah, I mean, I I, I do want to, listen, I want to help you. It's just, I, I don't want to be the one to do it. <laughs> I'm just supposed to lay the breadcrumbs for you, man. You know? I'm just then a guy. Then lay the breadcrumbs for the bird that has been stolen from me because of you. Okay, fine, listen. Uh... What you gonna yes, do for I, I me? I push him. I push him to walk towards the door. <laughs> All right. To push him to walk towards the door, use your strength and athletics. Uh, two and five. Five dice. All right. And difficulty is gonna be seven. All right. That's a pretty good <laughs> success. Wow. All right, that's a really uh -huh. good success. Um, so he doesn't even really contest to, to you, to be honest, because you push with great force. And yes. he seems to kind of be like, all right, fine, whatever, fine. I'll go to the door. And he goes to the door. 
looks back at you, looks at the door, looks back at you, looks at the door, looks back at you. Where are you I can right ring now? The fucking bell. I'm 20 meters away from the house. All right. He rings the bell, shoves his hands into his pockets, looks back and forth. Oh man, this is gonna fucking suck. Right, it's fine. Uh huh. No sound at all on this night. Barely even so much as a creaking noise from the old floorboards as Victor kind of shifts his weight from foot to foot, waiting for something to happen. And then suddenly, before your eyes, all of the lights in the house go out. What? Almost as if the flame has been snuffed in one fell swoop. All the lights I, disappear. I yell for Uhu, trying to look for him. You Just yell for to your get bird. get a reaction. All right. You yell yes. for your bird. Um, do you want to use your bird communication? I will, definitely. All right. Uhu will recognize my voice. All right. And difficulty is going to be eight. Because... Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Because if your bird is in that house, it's going to be hard for your bird to hear you. Here we go. One success. Mm. With one success, however, you hear nothing, unfortunately. But you've made quite a loud ruckus. Mm -hmm. And Vic turns back and kind of says, Shh, be quiet. You can't just, you can't just do something like that, man. You're going to get us both killed. I'm, I'm, I'm tell, I tell him to, uh, to try to open the door. Maybe it's open anyway. He very slowly reaches for the door handle, looks back at you and says, What are you going to do for me? Mm. Well, what do you want? I don't. Oh, uh, um... Dang it. Um, let's see. How about... How about... Um, oh shit, I really didn't think about that. Um, let's see. I'll come up for you when you uh, don't come to your shift tomorrow. Oh yeah, you were gonna get me fired. Mm -hmm. Yeah, can you maybe not do that? Well, yeah, if you manage to get us into the house and get me my bird, yes. Alright, gotcha. Okay. Deal. Alright. I'll, I'll go in then. I'll go in. Okay, I here, here I go. Here I go. I'm going. I'm going in. He turns the knob very slowly. The door creaks open. He looks inside. And from what you can see, at least from where you're standing, it's complete darkness. He kind okay. of turns back to look at you and says... I don't know, it seems like there's nothing in here, really. And as soon as he says that... <gasps> ah! He screams. As his body vanishes from the front porch, the door slams <laughs> shut, and Victor is no longer in your sights. Uh, 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 what the fuck? Did he die? <laughs> I... Uh, I... Eh? <laughs> I, I... I go to the door, I guess? Alright, you go to the front door. And before that, we're gonna take a five minute break so I can go wash my hands. Okay. Alright, from here on out, we've got about... Let's see, maybe 30 to 45 minutes left of session, you guys. Uh -huh. Um... So we will... We will head towards the final chapter of this mystery once we return. Okay. All right. Everyone take a little break. I'm going to go wash my hands. Okay. I'll, I, I, I'll stay. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go. I'm going to. I'm just going to. No, not me. Not you. I'm just going to. I want to descend into darkness. Hold on a minute. I want to. Mm. I want to descend. Hoo -hoo -hoo. What What will happen next? Who, who could say? I want my bird back. What? This is scary. Yeah. Darkness. <laughs> darkness. What can I do? I don't even have weapons yet! Oh, yeah. Guess I'll have to come up with something. I don't know. I don't know. <gasps> Who could say? Who could say? Mm. Oh, why am I? Woo, I'm going to the scene. 
<laughs> I, I'm gonna be muted, but feel free to, if you want to say anything. If you don't, if you want to take a break, that's fine too. Ooh, here I go. Yeah. Goodbye. Guys, help me. Help me. Me. What do I do? We go in there. Am I gonna die? I can't die. This is the start of the story. I can't die. I, I'm, let me check the book. Let me see what's gonna happen. <laughs> uh, I want my... I want my bird bag. Uh, oh my god, my, my... My cat is doing like a... Like a roll on the floor. Like a stretchy roll. She's like... Please pet me. Pet me, Adana. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, hi, baby. Hi, Chunkers. Hi. Oh, baby. Guys, by the way, uh, I, I now have three monitors. I have... Uh, I set up my my monitor arm for my Wacom... My new Wacom tablet. And I now for, for the time being, because my table is not as big as I wish it would be. I have it, like, in portrait uh, format. It's really tall. And I got the comments on there. Yeah. It was quite a pain in the ass to set up that um, arm for the tablet. For the monitor. It shouldn't have been such a pain in the ass. Review said it was easy. The... The... The men... The men menu... The, 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 the thingy... Also looked super easy. It really wasn't that difficult. But for me... Any tasks like this are a pain in the ass, it seems. <laughs> uh, but it's functioning. And I also drew some stuff on there today. It very, was very productive before the stream. Mm -hmm. I did uh, two, two important tasks that I have been meaning to do for a while. Yeah. Oh, also, I wonder what to eat afterwards. Did you guys see on Twitter my, my curry that I made yesterday? <gasps> it was way too spicy. I can't eat it. Like, spicy kind of hot. Because I said it was too hot to eat. Hello, Jungle. Stop scratching my chair. No, no, no. Yeah, but now I still have so much left over. I made, like, more than I needed on purpose. So that I could eat it for a few days. But, like, I don't... Yummy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you hear that? Wait, <laughs> Um... Someone wrote to me on Twitter that... Is, does someone know how to fix this? Like, afterwards, after I already cooked it? <laughs> like, someone wrote if I put in, like, lemon or... 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 Something like that in it. Does that really work? Can I... Will it be less spicy? Add yogurt. Well, I already put in, um... Something called creme fraiche while I was cooking. And I, I put in... The curry paste, then I put coconut milk, and then I put creme fra fraiche. Which is something my... My mom always adds, so... That actually already helped, but... Add pineapples. Afterwards, but like... Afterwards. Hi, baby, what is it? Mmm... Add more. Okay, maybe I'll add another cup of creme fraiche tomorrow. I don't have anything here now. Meow! Oh, hello, Kelly. <laughs> I have... I have a send... Hello! You want ooze? Can you eat spicy food? I would love to give you some of my curry because I made too much curry. It's too spicy. I can't eat it. Ooh, sure. Oh Any day God, of the hell. week. Hi. My cat has been very, very uh, attention uh, 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 gr grabby. <laughs> oh, oh, I see. I see. Meow. Meow, Howdy. indeed. Aww. Yes, she she climbed up my chair. <laughs> Looking for pets. Yes, want pet. Cute. You know who also wants pets? The owl well, that you took away from me, Kelly. Wait, I didn't take... Hey, I didn't take away the owl. Listen, that's not how this works. What's your decision to take away my owl? Now let me get it back. Mm. But, but, Tiara, it was your decision to stay up late and then fall asleep. Eh? Well, I, I had to... Uh, okay, don't blame me now! <laughs> Uh, but, mm, it probably actually really wasn't your fault or anything like that. Mm. But um, whoever was doing this was definitely being kind of crafty and was definitely waiting for you to sleep at some point. Was it was it a vampire? <laughs> I don't know. I guess we'll have to find out. That's where we get to the second part of this grand adventure. Okay. Things are about to heat up as you head over to the front porch. <gasps> yeah. Of this old house, and do you attempt to enter the home? 
Yeah. All right. I do. All right. Let's see. Go ahead and set the tone. We'll go ahead and put you in the, uh, in the house. Here we are. Oh, shit. Go ahead and roll perception in this brand new area. Yes, perception check, please. All right, it's going to be a roll. 3d10. And since it's rather dark, difficulty is seven. All right, so you've got one success here. So Mm. this place, well, it's old. You can tell that um, it hasn't been properly lived in for a long, long time. Mm. Um, and it almost seems as though, at least when you enter, no one's there. Okay. For whatever reason, you just get the feeling that, is anyone really there? Are you sure that Victor isn't just playing some kind of prank on you? Hmm. I call for... I call for Victor and for Uhu. All right. You call out to them. Uhu! Anna! Victor, Anna! Victor, you bastard, Anna! Where are you? Uhu, Anna! As soon as you begin calling out, um, you hear a ruckus begin. A ruckus of footsteps (laughs) and yelling. I... Who is that? (laughs) Is it her? Is she finally here? We've been waiting for so long. I footsteps I, I begin to approach steps you. Back. I take a few steps back towards the door, just for security, so I can escape immediately. And I wait there. All right. So as you kind of move back, you notice that there's a strange rustling noise off in a room to your right. Do another perception check. Perception check. Let's see. Difficulty is going to be seven. All right, one success. With your one success, you hear that the rustling in particular sounds like cages clashing together. Cages? Mm, Yes, cages. Okay, so I go over to that room because that must be bird cages. All right. As you enter the room with the cages, um, you realize that just as you entered that room, the um, people inside the house have entered the main hall that's right in front of the door. They don't see you yet. You've entered, you've entered the other room, correct? With the cages, they haven't seen you. They haven't caught you. Are there birds you. in the cages? Do, do another perception check. Yeah, there you yeah. go. All right. Difficulty seven. Oh, no. (laughs) Oh, you can't tell in the darkness. Definitely some kind of creature inside the cages, but you can't see. You're a little too focused on what's going on in the other room, but you see that there are four people, and they're all carrying guns, and they look real scary. They haven't noticed you yet, but the tallest one goes and locks the door. I sneak up, try to sneak up onto one to perhaps maybe unarm one of them that is the closest to me. All right. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this seems like the, the one chance for me to get a gun, so... Oh, man. All right. Are you going to try and do it in a, in a sneaky way that um, won't alert them? Or are you cool with them being alerted to your presence? I'm gonna sneak up in a sneaky way, and then, well, once I'm close enough, I definitely will alert them, but that's okay, because then I got the gun, hopefully. <laughs> All right. Okay, sounds good. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and do a dexterity plus stealth check. Just <laughs> <laughs> one di- dice, one dice. Oh my God. <laughs> All right. Uh- and what's difficulty the difficulty? is gonna be seven. Oh, yeah, seems about right. <laughs> All right, here we go. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. 
Oh, wow, that is one success. <gasps> yeah, well, I was, I was going to ask, is this possible to end in a bad ending, the tutorial session? <laughs> I could imagine if your character gets killed, it might be kind of yabai. Yabai. Well, I, I succeeded. All right, you take... Uh, so the closest one to you, um, you see out of the four figures, one is very tall, one is very short, and then there's a very well-built, um, there's a very well-built one who's got like a, a, well, they're all wearing hoods. It's really hard to tell. They've are, they're mm. all wearing tattered hoods, but the one that's very well-built has some strong shoulders um, and has a gun that's, that's facing you uh, out of the back pocket. Uh, and that's okay. the gun that you aim for. It looks like a pretty cheap little pistol. But okay. you manage to grab it. And uh, you take hold of it. And you can tell that you you haven't quite alerted them, actually. But they definitely feel that there's something weird going on. They're looking back and forth. And one of them, you see, one of them is also very well built. And on the other side with incredibly wild and crazy hair that looks like it's been hairsprayed to fucking death, um, says, Ooh. did you see where the prince went? Mm. And the other, one of the other, one of the other uh, minions, one of the smaller ones, the shirt one says, no, 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 it's, it's fine, it's fine, I got him. We got him tied up in the back room. <laughs> Should be okay. We'll, we'll be we'll be ready to strike when it's time. What? What? Not at all. Okay, I, I. Because she's definitely here. I can smell her. Um, I make my way to the back room, Mara. All right. Which to, you're gonna I have to roll it. stealth again. I don't really have stealth. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and try anyway, baby. Yes, let's try. All right, <laughs> difficulty is gonna be seven again. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on, baby. <laughs> As you make your way back, the floor creaks ever so slightly. And all four of the figures immediately turn your way and look directly at you. No, 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 wait, no, wait. <laughs> there she is. I, no, 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 wait, I take a- you're looking so rather fine tonight, my dear. <laughs> no. Says the well-built one with the crazy hair as she approaches you ever so slowly. I use my I use my Glad quick draw merit or something like that, and and, and pull pull I uh, pull out my gun just just so that I am ready to shoot whenever whenever. Okay, whenever you pull out your gun. That's fine. And they all immediately pull their guns out on you. There's three <laughs> guns on you. <laughs> well, and everyone well, stops well. moving. <laughs> I, I asked them, who are you, Lara? All of them kind of look at each other as though someone's waiting for someone else to speak. <laughs> and the well-built woman says, well, why don't you speak up? I don't know, tell her what we do. The kind of well-built guy that you can now see has a beard and a mustache shrugs and says, I don't know, I didn't really, I didn't really prepare a speech or anything. What are we supposed to tell her? And then the, one of the sh one of the shorter ones with with the gun says, "This is getting boring. We should just shoot her and kill her." <laughs> and then one of the other ones, one of the other minions, who's a slightly taller woman, says, "Wouldn't that be pointless, though? She looks rather delicious. And plus, maybe she can help us with the owl. You have something very, very important, Madame." Well, no, probably you have it because you stole it from me. Where's my bird, Ada? Hmm, we didn't steal anything. Yes, no, no, you no, no, did. No. Victor no. told me. Oh, yeah. oh, you mean the dumb ex-prince? Yeah, what did you do with him, Adam? Nah, he doesn't know shit. He's like tied up in the bag. Forget him. Forget him. We're just gonna ship him back to his family. He'll be in big trouble for trying to help out one of you. Okay, okay listen, you're gonna give me back my burp. I have... A shit ton of gun skills. Your what? Subduing strikes, loaded for bear, human prey, iron stamina, quick draw, danger sense, uh, gun You just start listing your merits. Yeah. <laughs> you wanna fight with- You, you may be uh, more people than me, but I'm way more skilled than you and I believe in that. I got trained by my brother, the one and only. Oh yes, we know who your brother is. 
Your brother is also very important to all of this. They say slowly approaching you. I will look to <laughs> Yes, very important. And as they say this, you're kind of slowly being backed back into the room full of cages, and it gets even darker. Some of the cages kind of go in front of you as as you guys kind of back up into the room. And now there are some bird cages in between you and uh, these predators. You I see, we're going good. to craft a new world order. Can you believe it? Because our god is sure to rise again very soon. The time is almost near. And well, I don't know what, what kind of do god you're talking about, but I want you to give me my bird back. What do you need my bird for anyway, Ada? Oh, jeez. Is the bird the only thing you want? Really? Yes. And, and some more birds, perhaps? You can give me all of them. All of the birds you have here. What do you need them for, Ada? Would you like to do a perception check, or do you oh, want wait, to keep... Oh, wait, the pendant. pendant. <laughs> do we perhaps have a pendant, too? <laughs> Is that what you asked them about? Yeah, I forgot about the pendant, sorry. Uh, I asked them also, do you, don't you have my pendant as well? As soon as you mention the pendant, um, the two leaders kind of gasp. The very well-built ones. They gasp and say, do you know where the pendant is? Can you lead us to it? Because if you can, we'll let your bird go free. They're asking me? Uh, well, it was stolen from me, Yara. From you guys. Mm, if we had the pendant, we wouldn't be having this conversation, you see. Huh. Well, my bird and my pendant were stolen at the same time while I was sleeping, Yara. So I think it has something to do with one another. You hear at this moment what sounds to be a shotgun that's cocking in some kind of way. And you hear a loud, gruff voice coming from the well-built one that says, Look, we don't have time for this. Listen, are you going to give us that pendant or what? Your owl can lead us to it. So which one is it? Which owl is it? Oh, you're going to give me back us. my owl now? All right. All right. Well, I'm, I think to myself, I am not going to give. My fucking pendant. Ah, <laughs> uh, so you're gonna you're gonna lie. <laughs> uh, no, 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 not necessarily. Wait, wait, do do I see my my owl now? Because it's very it's dark. Like... You're going okay. to need to roll some kind of check here. Now it's up to you, depending on how you want to deal with the situation. You're pretty much being backed into a corner by these four strangers in hoods. Uh, they all have guns, and they seem like they are very capable of hurting you. They're talking about weird cold shit. Um, just kind of setting the scene. Now, as for your mm -hmm. owl, we can roll another perception check here, as you are kind of backing up, and you can do at least one more in this turn I'll, before you hit a wall. I will, I guess, do a perception check. All right. Yeah. All right, and difficulty here is going to be seven in the darkness. Wait, what? That, what was that a one? One D3? I fucked up, hold on. Sorry, 3D10. 3D10, that's it, all right? Here we go. All right, you got one success. Uh, from what mm. you can tell is that in this room, they're all owls. Hmm. It seems ah. as though all of them have been captured for some purpose or another. They all seem to look a bit similar to Uhu. It, but, but Uhu is from different place. Special owl. Right, exactly. Mm. Shouldn't I be able to recognize my owl? Right, but there are many owls in here, so what you'll need to do is perhaps, uh, I don't know, oh. call out to your owl? Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. I, I am going to, uh, say, uh, I, I'm going, I'm going to, um, mix a word that Uhu knows into a sentence, hopefully without I mean, it's just gonna be like na a natural sounding sentence, but ooh, I we'll recognize the word. Oh, okay, okay. So, uh, I'm gonna say, um, well, I, 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 am, I could perhaps help you. I could also, no, who to help you? I don't, I don't know. Oh, okay, I see. I see. 
So you're trying to kind of get your owl's attention at this point? Uh, yeah, and With also just uh, um, um, and trying to get some like time. time. All right, buy some time, gotcha. Yeah. Okay, so in this case, um, let's see. If you're trying to buy time, that might be one role, um, a different role um, in this mm. case. But it's clever that you're trying to mix in a word there that your owl knows. So <laughs> let's see. I'll give this to you. You can go ahead and roll... Um, to buy time, I'll let you, I'll let you use your presence for the, um, for the initial kind of trying to buy time All and, right, uh, express me. yourself, right? And then also animal can at the same time. All right. All right. <gasps> that is us. eight dices. All right. Sounds good. Whoa. Go with that. However, it's going to be exceedingly difficult. I would say, let's go with seven, just because it's the tutorial. We'll go with seven. Easy, easy. Eight dice. See what we got here. One, big two, success. three, four, five. So that's a big success. All right. So you managed to buy yourself quite a bit of time, as it seems as though your pursuers have kind of stopped moving. Um, oh. Because they're noticing that the owls are are kind of rustling a bit in their cages, beginning to mm -hmm. sway back and forth, and and you can feel as though Uhu is trying to reach out to you in the midst of all of these cages. There can only be one. A cage off to your right. Okay, I know what I do. I shoot at the lock of the cage with my gun. Ooh, you're gonna <laughs> shoot. All right, here we go. Now, with your gun, in order to do that, you're going to need to roll your firearms. And let's see. So let's go ahead and do firearms and strength. Five plus three, eight. All right. Eight do dice. I get anything from my merits? Um, let's see. That's a lot well, of merits that sound like they could do something. <laughs> let's see. I'll go ahead and look at them. Hmm. I think maybe... Maybe... Oh, what was quick draw? I mean, with quick draw, it basically means you won't have to like take a turn to do it. You just have your gun. You need to take a turn. Oh yeah. Okay. So we'll just go ahead and do this roll as eight d ten, and since you're shooting at a lock, um, specifically that's decently far away from you, I am going to make the difficulty eight. Okay. Here we go. All right. With yeah. two successes. Yeah. With two successes. You manage to shoot the lock. And, and set my elf free. Yes. Your friend, uh, Uhu, comes barreling out of the cage immediately to your side and rests <laughs> upon your shoulder. Nice! Yes. So, right, what do those see. people have to say? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, let's see. I, <laughs> the music has got to change. <laughs> Dangerous music. <laughs> Sounds very upbeat and happy. No, the one I wanted isn't in the. It isn't in here. One moment. We're just gonna go with this one for now. Oh, you banking music? Yeah, it's it's me. It's me. Alright, we're just gonna use this one. Alright, so as your as your feathered friend comes barreling out of the cage, um the aggressors kind of seem a bit shocked and are saying, What did you do that for? Hey, wait a minute! And you hear all of their guns cock into place. And they're they sound like they're ready for a battle. But there are many cages between you guys, since you did buy yourself some time. So mm -hmm. you have your owl by your side, and four aggressors that are kind of standing in between the scattered cages within the room. Um, and they all seem like they're ready to punch your lights out at this point in time. I... I send Uhu to the back room to free Victor, because he seems to be on my side after all. Oh, okay. Cool. Go Uhu! Sounds good. Alright. Six places? Yes. All right. All right, here we go. 6 d 10 and difficulty 7. Well, that's pretty Ooh. successful. Uh -huh. All right. And we got a four. Okay. okay, so with those three dice, um, you send Uhu off to go free Victor. 
and yeah. um, Uhu seems to immediately get the picture and flies off. And now it's just you with these four strangers who have increasingly begun shouting and um, cocking their rifles. But you hear that there's something, something kind of feral going on. And um, in the midst of the commotion, um, one of the um, the particularly tall one um, begins kind of like jerking in a way that you've never seen before. At least not for a human being. Um, seems to be kind of losing control in a sense. Um, whoa, 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 keeps repeating whoa, whoa. things like, I'm so hungry though. Do we have to, do we have to shoot her? It'll spoil her. Please. We should, uh, we should just give in. We should just give in to our senses. Come on, I know the rest of you want to. It's been so long after all. I, while they're talking, I'm trying, while they're distracted by their own hunger, I make my way slowly uh, back, like stepping w one, one step at a time backwards. Trying to get She's getting away! Room. Yep, and. Uh, no, don't shoot her! My gun, I, I aimed at them. Still, still aiming. All right, sounds good. You can tell that they're kind of getting a bit disoriented, but they're definitely hot on your tail and trying to find their way to you. So at this point, do you have a direction where you want to head or do you want to look around or what do you want to do in this moment? Because in the next turn, they're probably going to begin shooting at you. Oh, well then I'm gonna uh, quickly shoot at one or two more cages to open them up and make them scatter and, and, and you know, make this whole thing into a chaotic situation. <laughs> oh, okay, gotcha. That sounds like a good plan. Um, let's yeah. see, so for your gun, that's going to be eight, yes? Yeah, yep, yep. All right. And usually the gun would do some kind of damage, but because you're not rolling to inflict any damage, um, we're just gonna go ahead and, um, you're just gonna go ahead and not add a damage modifier, just gonna roll, and difficulty is going to be um, eight. Here we go. All right, so that's one. With one success, you managed to break open one cage. That's about okay. the best thing you can do. And then while that uh, owl is getting out of the cage and maybe like flying in front of their faces. <laughs> okay, okay. I try to run, I try to run. Nice. Outside of the house. Whoa, 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 whoa. Escape. You try, you try to run out of the house? Yeah, I mean, I tried to escape. escape, yeah. All right, sounds good. All right, we're gonna play this for your escape. All right. Okay. Now, to cause a distraction, however, I'm going to have to need you to make another roll in this sense, because you're doing something very calculated, because the birds, they won't just listen to you if, if you just shoot the cage open. They'll probably try and flee and not try to cause much of a commotion. So in this sense, you're going to need to instruct the birds. Okay, instructing! Right. Try to, try to, try to, try to... Uh, 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 yeah. Tell them to do Distract shit. Them. You got it. Do shit! Do right. shit! You yell do shit to the birds. Um, and this is gonna be difficulty <laughs> eight because you don't know the birds. All right, so that's one success. Um, and you okay. managed to cause a bit of a distraction. Um, with the one bird that you set free, um, the cages begin to rustle a bit, um, moving back and forth, causing a bit of a commotion. Um, and about two of the members are kind of thrown off and actually fall to the ground in time for you to kind of escape. However, there are still two that are going to be hot on your tail. So, as you manage to try and make an escape, there are still going to be two following you. And you make your way out to the main hall um, to realize that Victor has also been freed um, and Uhu is joining you at this same time. And you all meet in the main hall. And, That's what um, I was hoping for. And now it's the two of you and these two aggressors pointing guns at you, one of them is uh, in a state of frenzy at this exact moment. And you are facing each other. Oh. Now, at this Does moment Victor in time- Does Victor have any uh, weapons, by the way? Nope, Victor is dang useless at this moment, hmm. but he's there with <laughs> you, I guess. All right. All right, I'll use him as a human shield. Human shield? Gotcha. All right, yeah. so, oh, no, so now, you're, human, <laughs> now we're going to do something called rolling initiative. This is when a battle begins. Oh, All right. Shit. So for this battle, uh, let's go to your sheet. Now rolling initiative is going to become very central to uh, this game. So and go ahead and check your initiative mod. What does that say? 
initiative. Where is initiative? It's under flaws, and then you go a little further down, and it says initiative mod. Ah, four. All right, yours is four. All right, so let's roll for you first. In order to roll your initiative, it works slightly different than a normal roll. So you'll do roll one d10 plus. Where's my plus sign? Um, it's it's somewhere. I also around. never know where it is. <laughs> God, where is the freaking plus? Oh my gosh, do I really have to go into the internet and search plus symbol? It should be next to the L if it's a Japanese keyboard, next to the L? Yeah, it, it is, but it's like, it's not, it's it's only giving me a cold, it's fine, a copy paste, baby. All right, one, D, ten, plus. You could Your also in Japanese plus. type in Purasu and <laughs> Purasu. <laughs> That's also a good idea. Here we go. Ooh. All right, here's your initiative mod. Your initiative mod is 12. Now, for these other uh. characters, I will roll. For Victor, whose initiative mod is six, I'll do a roll one d10 plus six. Yeah. Victor is also 12. Ah. Now we're going to go ahead and put mysterious character number one's initiative mod. Mystery character one is roll is going to roll one d10 plus seven. Seven. Only got an eight. Nice. 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 All nice. right. And mystery character number two rolls a one d ten plus seven again. And this one got fifteen. Oh, All right. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and look at these character sheets. So this is the turn order. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and type it actually um, into the chat box. So the turn order ah, is going to be turn. first. Mystery character two. And then after that, Tiara. After that, Victor. No. No. And oh, Victor. finally. Yeah. Victor gets to do something? Yeah, he's uh, part of the battle. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and then mystery character one. Can Uhu do something too? Um, let's see. I wouldn't count Uhu as a character in this battle, but you can certainly instruct your owl to do something in your turn. Okay. You can give him an instruction. It'll be like a shared turn thing, okay? Okay. So, the first thing that Mystery Character 2 does um, is pull out what looks to be a revolver and says, you shouldn't have come here, little lady. Well, you want me you to come really here. shouldn't <laughs> have come here. We didn't um, need your help. We were going to find it without you. But you really shouldn't have come here. Mm. And with that, is going to take a shot at you. Now let me see what I had for this character. This character has a club. Actually. A revolver oh. and a club. But chooses not oh. to use the revolver at this point in time. Probably thinking that they can just bash you up. So, okay. taking the club. Swirls around the club. In his hands. Can I try to dodge? <laughs> um, what you can do is tell me what your defense is in this moment. Defense? Uh... Defense? You mean my health? Or... Ah, no, I want one. Oh shit, one. one? <laughs> okay. Your defense is one. Um, so in this moment... Um, and you usually can roll to dodge. Um, but we're going to go over that at a different time. Um, okay. yeah. So let's see. For your defense, it's one. Alright. Mm -hmm. so this is going to be a 5d10, but minus your defense, so it's a 4d10. Oh. And difficulty so is going to be... So rolling for the damage. Yeah. So this is okay. this is to roll to hit you. Okay. If the roll succeeds, they will do the damage. Okay. With the weapon. All right, so here we go. Difficulty? Difficulty is always going to be 6. Eh! All right, so they barely managed to do some damage to you. Um, okay. Because there's only one success, I'm gonna go ahead and just like home rule this. Usually it would do two bashing damage, but I'm only gonna have it do one bashing damage to you. Now on your sheet, do you see where it says health? Yeah, I got a lot of that. One, two, three, right. four, five, six, seven, eight. So on the square, there's some squares underneath the health bar, yes? Oh yeah. In one of those boxes, go ahead and put one slash. Which means you have one point of bashing damage. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, 
one. Okay. Done. All right. Sounds good. Now it's your turn. What do you choose to do? I shoot at the same guy. All right. Sounds good. With this gun, uh, let's see. This gun that you have stolen from this one character uh, does two lethal damage. Um, so, let's see. For your gun roll, see what you got. For guns, that's going to be a strength plus firearms, which is four, five, six, seven. Gunslinger specialty, eight dice. And you draw on the same turn. So we're gonna go ahead and roll eight dice. Can I can I perform a short burst? <laughs> a short burst? It says at one dot can perform short bur bur at, uh, for for gunslinger short bursts with revolvers. At three dots can make a medium burst with revolvers, but doesn't gain an attack bonus. At five dots, blah blah. How many do I have? Gunslinger four. Uh, okay. So, I don't know. I don't know whatever a medium burst is. What is that even? Let's see. Let's <laughs> <laughs> gunslinger. Alright. <laughs> From short burst revolvers at three dots. Ah, uh, but you don't... <laughs> you don't have a revolver, though. It's a pistol. Oh, well, there's a difference. Okay. <laughs> I don't know much about guns. Mm. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. You can still do a pretty good attack with this. It's got too lethal damage. Okay. All right. So here we go. And difficulty six. Okay, one, two. Two successes, so I would definitely say that you do the two lethal damage to yes, this... Uh, who did you aim at, by the way? That's what I should have asked you. Who did you aim the at? The first dude that hit me. All right, that's mystery character number two. Uh, you aim and you shoot. Um, however, however, even though you feel like you should have done some damage, this character shakes it off like it's no problem. Oh, shit. Yeah. yeah. What do I do? Well, um, I try to escape, I guess, for now. <laughs> yeah, you, you, can re you realize at this point that these beings are not exactly human. They are hella weird. Does Victor have anything to say in this situation? Yeah, Victor sure does have something to say. Does he say maybe thank you and, uh, you know, uh, Tiara, to be honest, you should get out of here. <laughs> six. Victor rolls to run away. Nice. That's what Victor Jeez. has to say to you. Oh, wow, Victor, you asked. He says bye. <laughs> and he leaves. I run with them, I hope. All right, that can be your next turn. Okay. All right, next up, oh, mystery character still one to still has to... Yeah, that's right. Mystery character one is going to actually... Victor, jump at you. you. Fucking asshole. Uh, wait, no. Let me she left. <laughs> Could he have stayed but until until oh, 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 oh. <laughs> What, what a stand up guy. This round? <laughs> uh, you can try. You can try. Uh. Um but mystery character one is going to jump at you because the, this mystery character seems to be in a bit of a frenzy and is very, very, very hungry. Oh, all right. This oh, character wow. is going to roll to jump at you. Now, you may contest this. Uh, I will contest it. <laughs> all right. So we're now going to roll a battle roll right now to contest each other. So you're going to need to roll. Let's see. How about strength in this case? Strength and athletics. What's your strength and athletics roll? Uh, three and uh, five. Five dice. Five? Okay. Uh, let's see. And for difficulty, we're just gonna set it at six for this, just for okay. for simplicity's sake. All right, at six, Ugh. eight, okay, and six. Two. That's two successes. Now, okay. this character is going to roll to jump at you, and they've got six d ten, and it will be six difficulty for them as well. Oh no! It, oh! <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, with that one success, it's just enough to throw you to the ground, Ooh. Tiara. Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. You are on the ground, and it would appear that this snarling beast of what once seemed to be human is now on top of you. <laughs> and you can see something strange, Tiara, something that you didn't notice before when the hood was still on. Because now <gasps> the hood is off, Tiara, and in front of you, you can see a crazed, snarling something with fangs. 
and skin so pale you can't even believe that this being is alive. But their eyes have turned completely black. There is nothing human about this being uh, on top of you. And they I, want to bite you. Uh, can I just shoot at him in the moment? Sure. Okay. It's right but shoot. first, but first, it's now for it's now time for mystery character number two to make a move. Okay. Seeing you well, on the ground. Dude is already, well, then that that dude on, on, on top of me is my meat shield now, isn't he? Oh, uh, technically. <laughs> technically. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and say that mystery character is going to roll to get closer to you at this point. Okay. Let's see. They want to kind of sprint, so we're gonna do an athletics and dexterity check here. Yeah. Let's see, for this character. Let's see, 10, difficulty 6. Alright. Oh no. Ah. Alright, with one, two, three successes, mystery character number two is now in your face, Kiara. <laughs> and almost seems as though they will be able to help their friend if you don't act quickly. Well, I will, I will try to push him away and run away. All right, sounds good. To roll, to push, to, to run away. We're no, gonna have okay. another Uhu, contestant. Uhu to help me out with uh, distracting them as well. Please. Sure, would you like Please, to Sarah. Would you like to make yeah, your animal, move okay. to be convincing oh, your owl to help you? Yes, it must only be one at a time. Well, then, then I will uh, instead just try to push and run. All right, gotcha. In order to do that, you'll need to use your strength and athletics. Ah, uh, three and five, five, five. All right, sounds good. We're gonna roll five d10. And the difficulty is six. Oh, wow, wow, that's very good. Wow, that is very good. I think I managed to, 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 to escape. I think you did, <laughs> um, but I am going to have them roll one more time. And they might take have to do 5d10. Give him a little penalty. Difficulty 6. I'm out of here, Anna! Bye, bye, bitches! Alright, so with three successes, so that means, let's see. Sayonara, Anna. Oh, fuck. Well, they did get three successes and you got four successes, so you will be able to, you will manage to kind of push and shove. You push and shove the frenzied creature from off top of you. And they roll to the ground and begin to snarl even louder and begin speaking some kind of language you've never heard before but Ugh. just hearing it in your ears terrifies you. Uh. Something feral, Ooh. something you've never heard before and your instincts are screaming at you that you need to get out of this house right now. All right, all right. Well, did they already do the turn, basically? They, mm. they all of them after me, so it's my turn again. Let's see. Your move was to push um, and you got them off of you. Victor's gone. <laughs> yep, Victor's gone. And so now this frenzied creature is going to try one more attack on you. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's see. Miss, I do miss, actually have miss, stats. miss, 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 miss. Come on. Let's see. Miss. Focus with Victor though, what the hell? <laughs> Uh, they're probably going to, um, let's see, wielding their claws, their fangs, sorry, excuse me, fangs, wielding their fangs, they okay. lunge at you again. Now, if you manage to escape from this, if you mm -hmm. manage to contest this roll, I you might be home free. Okay. You can I feel it at your fingertips. This might be your chance to get out of here. I think. All right. Now, think, your strength, yeah. roll your strength and athletics again. Oh, five! Please, Zara! All right, here you go. Come on! Difficulty six. Oh, all right! All right, you got three successes, and now they will roll to lunge at you. Three? I think it's four? Let's see, one, two, three, four successes, correct. Yo. Oh, wow, they, they kind of sucked. All right, they only got uh -huh. two successes, so here's how the scene plays out. The creature before you, who is definitely no longer anything even close to human, lunges at you again and you manage to dodge them just in time by moving swiftly to the right. And as they lunge at you, they kind of continue running 
and manage to bonk themselves into the wall, which begins to kind of snap them out of their frenzy a bit. They shake their head and try to like pull themselves together, but very clearly have kind of taken the focus off of you for this one moment in time, as you've managed to dodge out of the way. And okay. now, mystery character number two is going to actually pull out the pistol and aim at you and fire. Oi, am I not escaping already? Uh, you just dodged out of the way, but in your next turn, you might be able to run. Oh, okay. Because you are next. So, this character pulls out their pistol, aims directly at you, and says, Oh, well, guns are the most effective way to kill a human. Plus, I'm not really hungry, so we might as well just end this right here. Have you out of our way for good. And they roll. Mm -hmm. 6d10. Your defense is 1, but defense does not apply. Wait. Depends, will apply because they got close to you. So just kidding. Oh. It will be 5d10. Okay. And difficulty is six. Got it. Oh, jeez. So they shoot you directly in your arm and you're going to take two lethal damage. That's okay, that's okay. So on your sheet where you have the health boxes, yeah. do two X's. Uh, on the, on the health dots or on the, on the things below? The things below. To keep track okay. of how much health One, you have. Two. two X's. Okay. All right, you have two lethal damage, and it hurts like a mother F word. And you want to scream out in pain, but the adrenaline, the adrenaline is keeping you from feeling it too much. <laughs> okay. Yes. Now I, I shall try to run again. All right. So your turn is to try and escape. In order to escape, yeah. I'll need you to roll. I'll need you to roll. Dexterity Five. and athletics. Oh. Six, uh, two, athletics, okay, four dice. Four dice, all right. Roll four d10. And because you have set up a clear path of getting away, I'll go ahead and make the difficulty only six. Okay. Here we go. And with okay. two dice, uh, that should be enough for you to uh, manage to escape. Run! Run! Because, thankfully, the one good thing that Victor did manage to do after escaping was was break through the front door. Uh -huh. That was the one thing that he did, right? Leave the, uh, the front useless. door wide open for you. Useless guy, I really. Useless, but you, yeah. you run. And you run, and you run, and run for the hills, Tiara. Owl follows me, right? Of course, of course. Your trusty okay. owl is always with you. Okay, good, good. And you run oh. and run and run into the forest, as a matter of fact. Because the forest is what stands between you and civilization at this point. Mm. Through the woods you go. And into the okay. darkness. And though yeah, your danger but... sense is still going on, because clearly there are still things in this forest after you, in some way or another. Oh. Even though your danger sense is still going off, the only thing that your mind can think right now is to get away. To uh -huh. get away from that house! That's the only yep. thing that matters right now. Yup. I run, I run, I run. Roll again to keep running. This time, you'll need to roll your stamina and athletics. Uh, three, okay, five. All right. And, let's see. Make the difficulty seven because it's dark and it's been a long freaking night. Oh no. <laughs> you trip. Oh shit. You trip and fall, and you hurt yourself for one bashing uh -huh. damage. Okay. Put one slash into the box. Bashing damage, okay. Done. Thankfully, your trusty owl is waiting for you. And even though you can hear footsteps off in the distance, you still <laughs> feel like you might be able to escape. <laughs> I keep on running. All right. Run, 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 You'll roll run, 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 another run. stamina check. Hello. Difficulty seven. Right? Okay, that's better. Okay, with two successes. Three? three? Oh, three. Sorry, I can't count. Yeah, no problem. One, it's, uh... two, three. Oh, no four problem. successes. One, two, three, four successes. Oh. All right. Let's see. Wait, it's seven. Just kidding. Sorry, it's three. Mm. It's been a long oh. morning, baby. Yeah. <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> yeah, it's been it's been quite the morning, but with three successes, you manage to keep running until you feel like your legs are going to fall off. And eventually, eventually, the footsteps that were behind you do very slowly, slowly but surely, begin to disappear. 
as the oh, dark God. wish they can. And suddenly, oh, thank God. or rather ever so slowly, more so than suddenly, you begin to feel your sense of danger is slowly beginning to wither away at this point. Oh. And you no longer feel like there is an immediate threat. Oh, thank God, Kelly, that was scary. Scary. But you made, but you made it out. You made okay. it to the other side, Tiara. But I lost my pendant. But so I got my owl. Did. It would seem. What time is it, by the way? Can I do a perception time check? Sure. All right. By the time that you're able to kind of pull yourself together and do a perception check, you've made it outside of the forest. And you roll perception. Now you're still mm -hmm. a bit a bit in a frenzy, so difficulty is going to be seven. Mm. Uh, you still can't perceive very much, unfortunately. Only that you're, you're right. in an alleyway. You're in an, you know that you're in an alleyway and Ufu is with you. And at that point, to you, that's all that really matters right now. Okay. Just both of you alone in that alleyway. And Uhu perches on your shoulder and seems to kind of tilt their head at you. And, um, and seems to be wanting to tell you something. Okay. What is it, Uhu? Would you like to roll to perceive what Uhu is trying to tell you? I will. I will. What up, Uhu Ara? All right. Uhuara. This is going to be six difficulty because Uhu is really trying to communicate something to you. Okay. All right. Okay. So with one success, with one success, um, Uhu tells you to wait. There. Okay. And I do wait. not move. I wait. Ara. After that, Uhu jumps off of your shoulder, leaps into the air, and then flies off into the darkness, leaving you alone in the alleyway. What? With nothing but uh, your thoughts and the quiet uh, around you. Uh, scary. I try. I, I, I wait under, under the, the, the lit up area there, under a lamp. That one lamp. <laughs> you wait beneath the one beneath the one lamp that is shining in this dark alleyway where nothing appears to be moving. Until you hear a noise. Footsteps are approaching. Oh no. Why well, better be fucking Victor? <laughs> Heavy footsteps. <laughs> I However I do a perception check. There you go. Now that you've kind of had a minute to gather your clarity, we'll make the difficulty six. All right, with one success, you can Ooh. discern that the footsteps are not footsteps that you have ever heard before. Ooh. It's Victor is a monster. <laughs> if you squint in the darkness, you can see that there is a figure approaching you, but it's not Victor. It's that dude from the park. Would you like to roll another perception check? I will. All right. It'll still be six difficulty. With two ah. successes. Okay. The figure slowly begins to approach you, and you realize, although there is some similarity with the being that you saw in the park, this isn't the same person at all. In fact, this person is a woman. A rather... Oh strong-looking woman with a trench coat. Oh. She has long brown hair and a ponytail and is wearing shades. Oh. She slowly approaches you and gets within about, hmm, I would say a decent bit of space between you and just stops walking, stares directly at you, takes the cigarette from her mouth, stomps it on the ground and says, That's stay chat. <laughs> you look like you've uh, seen some shit, huh? I I don't trust a person, so I don't answer. Hey, I'm talking to you. Mm -hmm. Hey, I ask who are you, Ara? Huh? Who are you, Ara? Who who am I, Ara? Who are you? Who who uh, a r a a r a? What are you who trying are to say? You? <laughs> who are who you? you? <laughs> e excuse me. Oh, gosh. Who the fuck are you? 
Huh? You're having some communication problems, I see. Um, yeah, you guys are having a tough time communicating. <laughs> <laughs> who are you? Who, who am I? Um, yeah. Mm, <laughs> not really important. More okay. importantly, I have a question for you. You saw mm. something, didn't you? Maybe I did, Ada. Saw something strange, right? Something that you've never seen before, yeah? None of your concern, Ada. Well, I think it's very much my concern, you see. I'm How interested so, in people like you. How so, Ada? Because I know what you've been through. Simple as that, really. Okay. Not just you, either. You know what your brother's been through as well. My brother? You know my brother, Ada? Sure do. Everyone knows your brother. At least, everyone in this community. What? Where is my brother, Ada? Somewhere far away by now. Probably hiding. Uh, Could even be. In Egypt, I suppose. Oh! Egypt. Mm. Okay. Wow. Last, um, that's where he said he was going, but hey, that was something about two years ago. Oh. Two years or acquaintances, ago. you could say. I mean... I suppose you make plenty of those in this kind of business. You know, this kind of business. What is this kind of business, Anna? Business of knowing, you could say. Do knowing you know, what the others don't. Do you know who those people, people, things were that tried to attack me, Anna? Mm, very perceptive of you. You could tell that they weren't people, right? Something a little strange Definitely about them, yeah? Definitely not. They, they were like... Like monsters. Precisely. Interestingly enough, those so-called monsters, they're a little more common than you'd think. Hell, you couldn't even really tell, could ya? Your little janitor friend. I mean, he was kind of sus, I know. Sure, but the world is full of sus people, correct? But we don't really bat an eye because they seem human enough, yeah? You were suspicious too, though, Otto. Maybe a little bit, but... I think you'll probably grow a little suspicious with time as well, now that you know, uh... Things others don't, I suppose. Okay. So... What do you know about those... Things... That attacked me? Um, I know that they're definitely not done looking for you. And they definitely know where you live. What do you think I should do, Ada? Well, I wouldn't come out of the darkness to just present myself like this if I didn't want to help you. I will admit, I've been watching you for a while. I mean, they have too, it's just... You know... I kind of, uh... I've been waiting for a bit longer, I suppose. And when decided I needed to take action. Were you at the park, Ara? Mm. The other day. <laughs> she kind of smiles and says, wasn't necessarily me, but I suppose you could say it was an extension <laughs> of me. <gasps> snake. <laughs> hmm? Uh, snake? Oh, uh, no. What's snake? Mm. What? No. Hmm? It was a... Uh... There was a snake? You have to tell me more. Well, How many I've snakes met, did you see? Met two snakes in the past two days. <sighs> so that's Both how they were tracking you. Both of them kind of trying to attack me, I guess, or... I mean, not sure how much a snake can do, but... I really should have approached you earlier. Sucks you had to find out this way, but uh, yeah, they wanted what you had. But your owl was really smart, I tell you what. Hiding that pendant. Very My smart owl? indeed. Uhu! Mm -hmm. I, I, I wonder if that's where Uhu went to get my pendant. I think I know where your owl is. But you're oh. going to need to kind of uh, trust me on this one. Nah, I was told to wait here. I'm gonna wait for my owl. Okay. Suit yourself. Fine with uh, me. But here's something for you. You don't have to do anything with it. But mm. if you are a little worried about where things are going to go from here, just go to this address. 
I can't promise you anything, but uh, I can promise you a possibility, a chance for something different after all of this, a chance to stay safe. And oh. um, she hands oh. you a business card. Oh, all right. It looks like I, uh, I look at the card. I yeah, know. sure. Let's perception go ahead and roll check. a perception check. <laughs> Woo. Can I read? Can you read? Let's find out. Maybe you can. Difficulty six. All right, with two successes. Very nice. With two successes. There's a name on it. There's no name of a person per se, but it looks as though it's a business card that leads to a bar that you've never oh. heard of before. Oh. When you look up, she's gone. <laughs> Just like All that. All right. Vanished All right. into the wind. I put the card into my pocket and continue to wait for Uhu while being very confused and thinking about the things that J-Chat said. <laughs> Alright. Sounds good, sounds good. Alright, <laughs> and when your bird does return to you, Uhu comes back. And oh. of course, as expected, drops pendant. into your hands the Phoenix Pendant. I give Uhu a little, little bread snack that I had in my pocket. Uhu nuzzles you and then eats the bread snack. <laughs> and looking at the pendant now, it's almost as though there's this increased sense of you need to keep that thing close to you. Mm. What kind of hidden secrets it has. You still don't know. But someone wants it, and you don't know why. Oh. I put it... This time, not around my neck. Because... Too obvious. Mm. I put it, put it in my bra. <laughs> oh, I. Sounds I. good. Mm? Safe place. All right. <laughs> now, standing in the middle of the alleyway, what do you choose to do? I will go home and sleep. Um. Yep. <laughs> to your house. Yeah. 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 No! Ah, wait! No! Uh. Ah, do I go to the bar? I mean, it's up to you, man. You can go to your house, but... You know, it's up to you. Uh. Ah, should I even go to the hospital? <laughs> is there a hospital? That's also a choice. I am hurt. Mm, mm. Wait, what time is it? Can I check again the time? Let's see, it's about 4 a.m. Oh, wow, my shift is over. Yeah, I didn't sure is. Up the place, did I? <laughs> no, you sure didn't. I'll, I'll go to the bird shop and lock it up. <laughs> All right. You go to the bird shop to lock it up. Roll Probably perception. What? Oh my god. Uh, so, wait. What the fuck? Just. Are you I good? My cat. I think mean my cat just. Went. Oh no. <laughs> Hello, kitty. Wow. <laughs> We got about five minutes left of session here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, okay, okay. It's, yeah, they, 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 they um, made a, a, a table fall down. Idiot oh, cat. no, babies. No. They want a whole to... table. <laughs> Gosh. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I have, oh. I think, I hope. Well, <laughs> so I go to the, to the, to the shop, please. Okay, we're gonna roll perception. It's starting to get a little bit lighter, so I'll, I'll make it six, uh, difficulty six. Mm hmm With one success, um, it's enough for you to tell, actually, that the door to the bird shop is actually open. And when uh. you look inside, it looks as though all the birds are gone. Oh, for fuck's sake, I'm gonna get fired! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, gosh. Well, uh, I guess that's, that was my job. Uh, it's over, over. Um, I... I go like, whoop. Uh, close, close, uh, I lock everything, and I go home. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you, you lock up for the night. Maybe, maybe the birds got set free. Who could say? Maybe it's mm. a happy ending. Oh, gosh. <laughs> and then you go back to your house? Yeah. Yeah, I'll go to my apartment. All right. You go to your apartment and you enter your home. Can I, can I, can I save before? Can, can you I save? save? 
Uh, there are no save points, sadly. It's, it's up to you, my dog. Okay, okay, I go to the bar. I go to the bar. I go to the, you bar. Go to the bar. I go to the bar. Yeah, I go to the bar. All right. <laughs> you go to the I bar. Like, I feel like maybe that's where where where, where I'll get like the final the thing, and then a cliffhanger, and the music ending music starts, and the credits roll. <laughs> right. I mean, so technically, technically, you are correct because. Once you make it to the bar, <laughs> and the light up sign, you open up the door, and you enter. Oh, is that, is that where we'll all meet in the bar? That would be cool. See you next time, everyone. <laughs> oh, yeah, that <laughs> that's uh, that's the end. So, oh, okay. What would have happened if I would have gone home? Well, uh, guess you'll have to find out next time if you, you want to go just home. Waited until I make my way uh, to the bar. Well, not, nece not necessarily. <laughs> Anything can happen in these games. Anything Whoa. can happen. Whoa! Right. You never Good. know. Thank God I went to the bar. <laughs> yeah, I mean, perhaps that was you know. Dramatic. Yeah, it was pretty dramatic. You might have sustained even more in injuries. Maybe ended up showing up to the bar with. Uh, like five lethal damage or something like that, oh. or you didn't. You don't have to go there at all, but um, it's up to you, uh, really. How does like the, does this just heal automatically, or how does? Yeah, this, it'll this take time. Thing? So okay. different amounts of damage takes a certain amount of time to heal. Bashing damage, for example, is the easiest to heal, usually within a day or so. Lethal is going to take longer, maybe a couple days, but we'll get more into those details a bit later. Okay. Wow, yeah. wow. I didn't think that you will... I, I, I thought this was going to be a happy tutorial session. La, 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 oh la, gosh, la. from fun, darkness. Fun, fun. <laughs> didn't think you would get right into business. I was scared. <laughs> well, you, you got you got to you got to enter the world of darkness by um seeing something kind of spooky after all. Didn't even have any weapons, but that was smart smart of me for, to to try to get one from that. That was a pretty sick move that you did, I will mm. say. That was kind of awesome. Without that, I would probably be dead by now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you found a, <laughs> you found a good way to solve it, I will say. Whoa! Mm -hmm. And got pretty lucky with your dice most of the time. Yeah. Mm. Ah, uh, very yep. interesting. Yeah. Very interesting session. Very fun. Yep. I I also like how you um really made like all kinds of things matter like my brother and then i mean i didn't didn't i i didn't think of the pendant but you did and you gave it an important role it seems mm -hmm. as well as my boob yeah and everything. so mm -hmm. i have to say applause applause for preparing Thanks. this no mm. problem i was i was really trying to work on the plot line and whatnot and and there's still there's still more to come the story mm. doesn't end there so you'll Hopefully, uh, it's, it's like one of those um, like cliffhangers at the end. What is the importance of the pendant? Where did Giara's brother go? Find out yeah. sometime in a future episode of Mythbreakers. And how is all of this connected? If it is connected to the Indeed. other kills. Exactly. Mm. Because who knows what kind of stories will become interwoven with each other. Yeah. Mm. Ooh, ooh, interesting. Yeah. Welcome to the world of darkness, Tiara. I hope you enjoy your stay. Uh -huh. Well, I don't think so. <laughs> Already painful and scary. <laughs> right? Well, that was That's something, alright. Cool. That yeah. was very cool. Mm. I hope you enjoyed your time. It was certainly fun for me, and I, I planned quite a bit, so I'm glad that, um, that some things, uh, most things went pretty good. I mean, there were also several, uh, different branching paths that I set up as well. For example, like, let's see, I have, what other backgrounds do I have? There's, like, a, a theater. There's, oh. like, a, a cafe. You could have gone oh, to. Oh, if I, if I would have went to the cafe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. They they probably would have taken some different branching paths. So there were there were different options kind of set up, but um, but overall you took the bird shop. Kind of thought you might take the bird shop, um, <laughs> but it ended up being fun. So, heck yeah! Not All that. right. Whoo, that was very fun. It must be very late for you. Super sorry that it ran kind of late, but I got really into it. <laughs> No problem. This kind of stuff takes time. That's okay. Who's the next one, by the way? The next is going to be Ina, I believe. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Next, next week? week? Mm -hmm. Yep. Ooh. Yep. You'll be all right is going to dive headfirst into the world of darkness. I wonder what kind of uh, <laughs> being <laughs> what what kind of being you will run into. Oh. Very excited to find out. I am already scared for her. <laughs> uh, yeah. It'll be interesting, maybe, to say the least. Mm. Terrifying, to say the worst. But uh, that's how it goes in the world of darkness. And um, things are bound to become even more dark and sinister. 
So please stay Whoa. tuned to see what happens next, you guys. I hope you guys had fun. And um, Ooh. yeah. Uh, just just to let my viewers know, tomorrow um, I'm gonna put this uh, reservation up ASAP. Tomorrow is a Japanese only stream, but you guys are welcome to watch anyway. And also collab with Tamaki, uh, Inoyama Tamaki on, on Tamaki san's channel. Uh, after the Japanese only collab, well, that will also be Japanese, but I would love to have you guys there anyway. So, um, just check out Twitter and and the notifications and everything. All right. All right. Peace. Sounds good. Can't wait to check it out. Mm. Ah. Thank you, thank you, Kelly, for doing this. Thank you. No problem. Thank you for being an awesome player. That was very fun. I, c I could tell that you had <laughs> some experience with, with role playing stuff because you kind of uh, knew what you wanted to do and you yeah. knew what Tiara would want to do, and that was kind of dope. So. Yeah, but still need to get a, a bit more into character because I wanted her to be a bit more quiet, but oh, yeah, at the same time, well, the, the not trusting people thing and all that mm -hmm. has to be. A bit more implemented, I think, but yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll yeah, get after there. a couple, after a couple of sessions, I'm sure that you'll settle right into the character, and and I'll also get my uh my storytelling skills all unrusted, and uh, it'll be fun. I'm very excited. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. Me Heck too. Yeah. Yeah. So with that being said, I guess yeah, you're welcome. See you guys soon. I'm gonna be clubbing oh. with Amelia shortly, so. Oh oh. Got oh dash. Okay. <clears throat> okay, guys, and in German we say. A Wiedersehen! Uh, Wiedersehen, that's right! A Wiedersehen, Bye. thank you for watching everyone! Bye-bye! <laughs> Peace! Bye.